Yo, yo. Hello, everyone. How you doing? Welcome to the final slop of the year. We had to get one more in there. I was uh, looking at the schedule going like, yeah, we can throw in some fighting games right now. I'm like, wait. We are almost done the list. Mm. We can get this done right before the 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 stroke of midnight before Today. the year the year closes out. So let's get some secret sl- secret final slot, and uh, and then we will reopen that list and get it all going for you guys. Cool. So how y'all doing? Oh y'all y'all haven't uh, you haven't been here in a minute? You missed the haircut? Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Reggie shaped up a little bit. Yeah. And uh, about ten days old, I guess. We, I mean, it's, yeah. Well, uh, ever since um, Florida, mm. right? F-L. So, how y'all doing? Fighting games betrayed. It is what it is. We got to do what we got to do. <laughs> um, Solidus and shambles, <laughs> <laughs> as per usual. Uh, yeah, no. Excited to get to it. Um, and yeah, punch bomb finished off the uh, the jala. The Jala jacket there today, so I was like, "Yeah, let me rock that for a little bit." It's about to immediately get hot, so yeah. I just wanted to like flash it a little bit for a little bit. <laughs> but the extra, she put an extra layer of like red on the inside. Okay, that is like gonna keep it nice and toasty. Nice, which is like cool for outside, but on for inside, inside with yeah. streaming, it's gonna get a little bit. You know, it's getting a little bit hot. So, um, yeah, maybe not too too much there. Um, yeah. So there's that, and nothing else important happened today. <laughs> nothing else of significance and or uh, notable mention. Have you guys seen Versus Wolves? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Versus Wolves. Dun, 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 yeah. So, uh, you know. We put a new podcast out, and uh, it's one of those projects that I've, we've been working around in the background. They talk about, like, oh, I got things going. Surprise, and, surprise. You know, there's a lot of things, unfortunately, that the, the trigger doesn't get pulled on that just kind of falls by the wayside. But one of the things that we've been working on for a while that I'm finally happy to be able to announce and show everybody is the new podcast, Versus Wolves, with yours truly and one super eye patch wolf. Um, yeah, so right now it's up. The new channel is up. You can go grab it over there. Uh, the audio versions I can see, yeah, for Spotify, for Apple podcasts, for everything that you have an MP3 feed, like we don't like that has to automatically create the new show and submit it and then do the whole feed thing. So that's going to be a delayed process because until your first episode exists and then it knows how to go look for it and you submit it to them. It's going to take a while for that whole robot system to crawl and make everything happen. Uh-huh. We can control the YouTube video and the posts we make. So that's easy to just go, here it is, check it out. But for Spotify, for Apple, for all the uh, the audio MP3 things, it'll have to be an automated process. So give that a minute. It should hopefully be done in a couple hours, I hope. And if not, I'll check in on each one of those platforms. But uh, it's, it's, not, it's, not some, it's not something that we control. So... Um, yeah, if we can add it to Amazon Music, I'll do so. I saw that as a destination as well. Um, all of these sites, though, again, they use their own automatic automatic system. So, like, if I don't see it there yet, there's nothing I can do to make it happen faster, you know? Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing. I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. But, again, hopefully you'll see it by the end of the day or so, if not um, over by tomorrow uh sometimes some some take longer than others you know um that's that's all i can really say but uh yeah new show real hype um we have the like and we have the full episode and then we've got the little you know uh one hour preview for anybody who's just catching it on our our respective feeds so over on the uh, uh regular eye patch wolf channel over on Wooly versus we've got that little preview video and up front I'm explaining the premise. Um, if you haven't seen the premise is essentially uh, it's a book club. It's the world's most powerful book club. <laughs> it's an excuse for me and John to force each other to consume shit and uh, to spitefully 
make recommendations happen. And uh, yeah, you can play along at home as well. So every month we're going to make each other do something or watch something or read something, etc. And uh, you get to find out what that is. And then next month we check back in to talk about what we did or how we experienced it and whatever the case was. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So if you hear what the things we're checking out are and you already know what they are, then like you can, you know, get rep, get prep ready to jump in and talk about them. But uh, if you haven't done them, then you can play along with us and together we can all go do the thing, you know. So uh, there's some good possibilities inside there and everyone's got their own little bullets that they're ready to load in and put the gun to my head. Right. But uh Yeah. There will there'll be time. There will be time. So go check out that first one for uh, the, the... I'm not going to, you know, no spoilers yet. If you get to the end, you'll see what the recommendations are and what the twists and turns uh, we took to get there are. So uh, that's it. That's, that's, that's what it's going to be. And yes, the plan is for it to be monthly. So we should be checking back in. Uh, hopefully like something like the last Friday of every month or so, you know, okay. something like that. So you'll catch, you'll catch that update pop in your way, um, before, before the end of, uh, January and we'll see what's going on. What are we talking about? I missed it. We are talking about the new podcast, uh, called versus wolves that I just clicked the button on earlier today at 1230 PM EST. So there is a brand new podcast you should go check it out it's me and i patch wolf it's a lot of fun um meow. what's going on folks all right uh we got mtler last time yes 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 okay uh as an at the end how you doing uh, Pat stares at casual media share. Wooly versus ranked competitive media share. Since it's the last stream of the year, thanks for everything you do and have any thoughts for the year in review again? Highs, lows, new things that went well or goals for 2024? Uh, definitely personal goals. I mean, um, you know, the, the, the battle to keep the weight off has already begun. So health goals are in, are in place. Absolutely. Um, I'm trying to figure out a stable like way to continue with uh what i've accomplished so far that's probably like a biggest the biggest focus of mine um also trying to you know straighten out my back posture and you know not lead to any not create any further bad habits that will make this mm. career detrimental in some ways you know um you need to have a long career like lebron you know yeah take care of yourself play play until your kid can join the league there you go right uh yeah i would say i would say that's that that's there um you know i also have some uh immediate tattooing goals that i'm working on as well uh more on that once things start to happen but i'm i'm imminently heading towards more ink uh i've got you know uh, the the yeah i want to continue doing this uh, i want to continue growing what we're doing here have some fun play some fun lps play some stuff that you know uh will create good memories and moments mm -hmm. some some you know I, I i would like to uh make and i'd like to continue to see if somewhere in that in this up, up, upcoming year we can make a uh an lp of something that people go yo that's the one you know, when people okay. are like, yo, you want to go check this game out or you want to go see like a let's play of this game? Oh, this like, is the reference. This is the one to go to, okay, yeah. you know, I feel like uh, we've gotten some really good um, groundswell on a couple of them. I've heard some people say really good things about like our Disco Elysium. They're really happy with that as like a good reference point to send to people, our 13 Sentinels, you know, and of course the legendary Red Shepherd. Oh boy. <laughs> so... I would like to it's make weird. it. It's yeah. weird, like, if people point out to that one, because do I really want it to represent me? <laughs> Either way, it's a fantastic piece of content that has taken a game that was otherwise laid to rest by its fan base uh -huh. and revitalized a whole lot of people to, you know, enjoy an old thing. So, yeah, 
Uh, let's do it again. Let's do another one. Let's find something like that we can do this year. Cool, cool, cool. That would be a lot of fun. Um, and, uh, yeah, and, you know, like, I don't want to ask for too much, really, because I just got a new project off the ground. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I certainly have other things that I'd love to do, you know? You, something you might know about me is I like trying out different shit. I like, you know? Mm-hmm. I like experimenting and, and keeping it fresh. It's 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 what keeps this whole thing very fun. So yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, you know, and then literally, if you want to get into my media highs and lows, what better place than the best of collection, the first episode of Versus Wolves, because you can go check out where I talk about uh, my favorite experiences of this year in that very episode. Well, there you go. So I get very specific into what Asin is talking about there. Um, how about you? Mm. Yeah, I guess I I should probably try to like get onto a better path for 2024. You know, take care of myself a bit better. It starts with a haircut. It starts with a haircut. Yeah, new new year, new me, new haircut. Um, maybe try to hit master rank in Street Fighter Six. Okay. I uh I did my placement matches last night. Oh, so there's a start. <laughs> There's I mean, <laughs> I want a boot up right now. So Diamond Five? Yeah, they put me in Diamond Five. Yeah, okay. I actually lost a, uh, dropped a game, but I was like, oh come on. And I whipped his ass. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So good, good. That, that's the thing. Um, All is as it should be. Yeah. Try to get fit. Um one thing at a time. <laughs> one one thing at a time. <laughs> one thing at a time. Are, okay. Hit master. Try to get fit. Yeah. Those are two um, two things, mm -hmm. yeah. And every once in a while, I I think that I want to stop doing the drug that is sugar for a certain amount of time. It helps because it's, it's pretty good to yeah. to cleanse your system out. Yeah, I've been going ham lately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like buying like sugar pies and shit. Oh boy, just going in. Okay, like last night. <laughs> last night was pretty intense, was it? Yeah, no half a. Half a sugar pie. Dang. Okay. It's, the, it's waiting for me. Fair enough. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had some grease yesterday myself yeah. that I probably shouldn't have, but like we were playing board games with the neighbors. Oh, cool. And having a, a little. Wow. That's cool. A little soiree. So I was like, yeah, you know, let it rock. Let's have some fun. That's nice. Yeah. Learning about the neighborhood. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. It was chill. Um. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's just summarize it all and say uh, getting our shit together. That's the great way to put it. <laughs> getting you. all all that shit. All that it. shit. Just compress it. Compress your shit. A just active shit compressor. There you go. Right. <laughs> Install that thought. Boom. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm volumetric that's the word thank you volumetric shit compressor yeah it sounds like a plan sounds like a plan i like that <laughs> okay <laughs> fucking woolly well we when we came back from florida i was like yeah you know it's the building i see there's a gym there and like yeah and then Willie's like, have you gone to the gym yet once? And I'm like, don't ask questions like that. <laughs> In, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, why you got to be like available, that? Available, <laughs> right? You've got one immediately accessible in your new location. Why you got to do me like that? Damn. <laughs> yep. You know, you're, I remember when you were like, yo, the place I'm going has a, has a gym around. Yeah. And I was like, that's sick. That's sick. Chirp, chirp. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. it's always in the back of my mind mm -hmm. no, i just need to to use it there you go there you go okay that's good all right well let me take the opportunity to uh not stain this jacket actually yeah take it off that would be a good call shout out Susie. you can go get sphere hunter merch available at the Sphere Hunter. There's some cool shit. There you go. You good? And, whoa. Hey, now. Set up. You're a rock star. Let's keep Game it together. On. Uh, yeah. How about it? Day drinking time. How about it? We're slopping? 
We're slopping. Let's do it. I'm down. Let's send this year off right. We have a 20-year Tawny. Porto. Oh, I see. A port. Straight. What's that box? From Portugal. Ramos Pinto. Tawny 20 anos. Quintado Bom Retiro. All right. From the Douro Valley. Estate grown. All right. And... Shout it out to uh, Skelly V for these uh, Ezerloin Fortress glasses, uh, a.k.a. Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, we good. We good. We good. Woo. All right. Dining Cafe. From the Legend of the Galactic Heroes Cafe. That's crazy. Pretty sick. An awesome gift. I very much appreciate it. So, yeah. To 2023 to 2024. It was an okay year. 2023 was all right. Some cool shit happened. You know? I mean, we had a pretty bad, bad streak of years. Some rough stuff. <laughs> you know? But this one? It's fine. Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah, 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 okay. 20 years makes a difference, man. The only Porto that I've had was the Cabral, I think. I don't think this will compare. I'm a fan of it because it's, it's sweet and adds a nice little, like... The time adds a little extra something to it. Like, it's one of those bits where I'm like, you, can, you, don't, have to, you don't have to front like you know everything about wine or whatever i'm not gonna do that but i i'm like i've tasted <laughs> just like you know current and then i've tasted like a like a couple years back and i was like oh shit no it makes a difference it does taste different so. my favorite bit about wine is in this show called peep show oh i've heard of it yeah and he goes hmm this is some good wine i mean it's not tasty like you know coca-cola but i can appreciate <laughs> the taste <laughs> I'm like, right there with you jazz <laughs> All right, let's, let me put this aside That smells good. Well, cheers. Santé. Santé. Proust. And to uh, salud. Salud. You know, Campai, but not really campai. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we, we, can, we can weave it up if we need to, yeah. but we don't have to fucking. But right? I like the one that you taught me in Florida. Oh, yes, yes. More, more life, life. More life. More, more life. life. Let's go. Mmm. Mm, oh Cheers. yeah. Oh yeah. Pretty mm. nice, right? Mm, the way it hits the tongue. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. The way it, mm, the bouquet, you know how it smells, you know. Mm. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. It's pretty yeah, I appreciate it. Mm. Port is good shit, man. Oh, that's some good stuff. There you go. Enjoy that. Um What was I going to say? Uh the yeah, there's a couple of I got there's a couple of different bottles that I had from Portugal and there was no drinking or touching them because I was on my restrictive plan. Oh, I so see. So now that I'm off, I can actually bust open the shit that I got, you know, from half a plus a year ago. Treat yourself. Yeah. So when I, I you know, we, we basically I just I made the plan for like, all right, at the other end of this, I'm going to be able to enjoy some port. So there you go. So you got to get a, a little collection going. Uh, a, I mean, get a wine cellar. No, because I don't drink that much. Not that much, you know. But I every once in a while, you know, there's like a pretty. I'm pretty much never drinking when I'm just on my own ever. It's only with other people, and like it's only when I have like you know company or something like that or going out. So the occasions are far and few in between. Um, but I, I sure as hell want to fucking use these glasses whenever I get a chance. Yeah. Yeah, social drinking is the way I do too. Mm -hmm. But every once in a while, I'll get like a, a little like something inside that goes like, "Hmm, I would be down for like a bottle of wine tonight." Like once every like mm -hmm. three or four months or so, I'll be like, "Hmm, yeah, I'm gonna go get a bottle of wine," or call up a friend, "Hey, you want to drink tonight? We're sharing a Hennessy bottle." <laughs> oh, that kind of night. Yeah, Hennessy and Killer Instinct. Let's do it. Damn, <laughs> boy, Ki and Henny. <laughs> We put the baby to sleep. That dark shit. Let's do, let's do it. <laughs> it 
Wow. <laughs> Combo breakers in a brown bottle. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of lit. I it's see. Kinda lit. I see. All right. Well, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Let old acquaintance be forgot and something old Lang Syne. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. I don't know the lyrics of that one. Let old acquaintance be forgotten and an old Lang Syne. Mm -hmm. Let all acquaintance be forgotten and a for old Lang Syne. Ce n'est qu'un au revoir, mes frères. Ce n'est qu'un au revoir. Oui, nous nous reverrons, mes frères, ce n'est que nos revoirs. Ah, au, au revoir. There you go. For old Lang Syne, my dear, for old Lang Syne. Is it just the same thing? Oh, I think that's that's the, the only bit I know, for yeah. For old Lang Syne, my dear, for old Lang Syne. There you go. Translated fucking... Well, that's the, the spirit is there at mm -hmm. the very least, yeah. I suppose. All right. Um, Benja Curb, five star rookie in Street Fighter Six. I am Luke. My opponent is a grappler like Manon or Zangief. What do you are, Luke? You can do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> the world is yours. The world is yours. Whose world is this? The world <laughs> is yours. The, the world, world is yours. yours. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Dude, listen. you look huge. <laughs> Ladies. All right. Listen to me. Rookie. Five star. Doesn't matter. You're Luke. Um, you can do so much more than they can. Uh, the deal with grapplers, if you're at, yeah, in, in, in the, uh, yeah, if you're talking about that at that point, the deal with grapplers is like, they force you to uh, play at their pace, right? So don't actually, you're going to go in and try to fight most characters by just getting close to them and doing your combos and stuff. Against Manon and Luke, they love when you do that and they can grab you in between. So you have to actively not do that against them. Um, later on, you're going to put a game plan together, but don't worry about that. For now, the point is, is keep away. They want to get close to you, so just use your sandblast to stay away from them. And every time you knock them down, don't use the opportunity to go rush up to them. Use the opportunity to get away. They're going to try to chase you down, and there's nothing much uh, they can do if you are really good at keeping them far away from you. Right? Five-star rookie? That's all you really need to think about. Any other character that, like, wants to be in your face, but you're good in their face too, that's fine. But with a grappler, they just love grabbing you when you're right there. So don't be there. Yeah, don't be there. That's it. Uh, Do you think they, they could handle a, another layer? I five, uh, rookie no. I'd uh, you get to the medals at least. Like at okay. that, uh, this is the point where drive impact one hundred percent works, where everyone is holding up and no throws get tacked. Yeah. Okay. So combos are not really a factor. It's just chasing and hitting the buttons around yeah. the screen. But I, I know your instinct. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm the kind of person that's like, okay, here's a tip. Here's why the tip works. Mm -hmm. Here's what they can do to, like, mess up your plans with that first tip, mm -hmm. you know? So focus on the first tip, but be wary that they could do a counter. So I like mentioning the counter. You know? Right. So uh, like, if they do a fireball, they're grapplers. They want to get in. They're going to jump. So mm -hmm. I would give them, like, another tip to, like, deal with jumps. And I would be like, okay, go on, like. The grappler that knows how to get around the fireball once you start doing it is no longer in that ranking. Okay. That that gets them into the like uh bronze category or so, you know? Because it adds one more layer okay. to it. That being said, yeah, by all means, you know. Okay. okay. So uh yeah, I think I think that's that's decent. HD Max, how you doing? Merry Slop Sember. Uh, I remember both y'all had a hope both y'all had a great holiday. Love the fact that you did boxing commentary too. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Uh, as someone who started with boxing commentary and moved to fighting games, it's interesting to see the reverse in action with those commentary on the fly situations. How do you both uh, take what you know and adapt it to the sport or game that's unfamiliar? Good games, y'all. Happy New Year. We did, had a we had a big conversation. Did about you uh, mention to them that we went to the boxing? Game? I talked about okay, Vaudreuil. Okay, okay. I, see. I see. I did. I did talk about going out to the boonies a little bit. Yeah, we had a big conversation about uh, exactly this. 
using the fact that we have some commentary experience, but like as a very basic very, boxing, very basic boxing experience, yeah. right? I love boxing, but I also am not like the color commentator that's educated and able to bring out history and you know give it a good play by play. So we just kind of relied on the basics of what we knew, I think, mm -hmm. and you know a lot of the hype of what we were seeing. And um, you try to be not too declarative about what you're seeing because mm -hmm. the judges might see it a different way. Um, but yeah, like when we, whenever we saw like a pattern, we'd call out the pattern and be like, oh, it looks like they're trying to do this. And then when we'd see the adjustment, we would like go like, oh, and here's how um, the blue corner is now actually dealing with that first thing. And then by the third round or so it'd be like and how they're both strategies playing yeah. uh, a counter playing with each other you know and f it was cool because i feel like in with the exception of one fight all the ones that we called were correct and all the ones that were incorrect were split decisions <laughs> so mm. <laughs> when we were off it was a split that's yeah. correct yeah so i was like okay that's not too bad mm -hmm. right we we saw it the way that they kind of saw it and uh it was a nice, what was cool too is that we went from a like very junior, like kind of kids just sparring a little bit level to like Golden Gloves professionals. Mm -hmm. So there was all ranges of skill, which gave a momentum to the night, mm -hmm. which had a like, the, we had the opportunity <laughs> to like see the speed slowly ramp up and then get lethal, you know? So yeah. it was definitely a whole lot of fun. It was like, I think it was like the fifth or, or sixth fight. And then like the speed, like, Increased yeah. and they went so high. Yeah, I was yeah. like, "Oh, whoa, whoa, what's yeah, going on? Yeah, yeah, we're going in." Yeah, and then yeah. the round ended. And I'm like, honestly, I don't know who won because I was shook. That was impressive as hell. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, kick up in gear. You know, it's mm -hmm. crazy. Um, yeah, I believe there will be a vod. I think it was on a different streaming service. Yeah, on um, millions. I think. Yeah. Okay. So unfortunately, I don't know the super fine details of it. We just did it for a friend, but I do know that there is a plan to have these available um on yeah on like a, a a service that'll you know be like a regular local boxing thing that they're doing so and i think that will be around at some point um yeah happy new year max towns how you doing ending the year in sloppy style let's have a good new year let's have a good new year um it's trailer hey trey how you doing yo, yo. first episode is great can't wait for more thank you very much glad you enjoyed it um yeah i don't really give everyone a ton of time with the way we do content here because i'm live but that episode was about three hours and it's gonna take a second before you can finish one to get to the other but don't worry about it again like it's it's uh it's you you have a month to catch up to the next one so there there will be time um, I also suspect that the future episodes will probably not be as long because the format for us going through our top tens is a little bit different compared to um, the usual uh, episode format, which will be focused on one subject, right? So, um, yeah, it'll it'll probably be a little bit different from here on out. But thank you very much. Captain Campy 61, Happy New Year's, boys. Thanks for all the fun and entertainment. Thanks for watching. Appreciate thank you. for you. being here. Mm-hmm. JD Lars, congrats on the new podcast. Looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Yeah. That's what it is. It's a little, uh, 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 amuse bush. Altez and Ray Z, how you doing? Big slop for big boys. Thanks for another year. Of good ass streams. Good stuff with the new podcast. Nice cut, Reggie. Have a damn good one versus crew. Cheers. Much love. Much appreciated. Um, yeah, Latomania. Congrats on the new show. Happy New Year. And here's hoping 2024 is a good one. Any specific favorite LP or moment from this year? Uh, yeah, so Azuna kind of uh, asked about that. But I definitely... Uh, so I, 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 list, I list a lot of... I list my favorite um, LP mo or gaming moments in this episode, right? So you can go check that out. Um, there's, there's definitely a surprise because... Um, you know, I'll I'll just say this: like the expectation is that my favorite thing of the year would be Street Fighter VI, but it it wasn't. It actually wasn't. There is there is in fact uh, something I liked a bit more than that. 
So yeah, LP moments in particular, I won't miss is fucking high. <laughs> I won't miss is extremely high on the list. Um, mm -hmm. I can't recall. I'll need to like see like a bunch of things and point out that one. You know, mm -hmm. um, what did we have? Okay, well, no, actually, let me look at the the playlist that we have currently to get inspired. What did we do this year? Like, um, there was Hi-Fi Rush, AC6, um, playlist, Pizza Tower is fun, Sacred and Terrible Air. That's a really nice project, actually. Sacred and Terrible Air is Yeah, great. that's, um, I like that we're doing, that what you're doing something, like, that's new and uncommon, you know, and... It comes from like a series that is like godlike, you yeah. know, all this world of this Elysium, wonderful. Um, it's exciting to be able to go back to that setting and just kind of like live in it for a little bit. Yeah. That's very, very fun. Bomb Rush Cyberfunk was fun also because Sega's sleeping. Baldur's Gate, that's a lot of fun as well. <laughs> I guess we're going to slowly go through Act 1 over uh, 2024. We'll do what we can. Yeah. Um, the Mass Effect, that was great. Red versus Blue. Shout out to Bayo 3. <laughs> that was, <laughs> that was, um, one of the sadder moments <laughs> that I, I won't be forgetting because like before we played Bayo 1, I was like, oh, what's Bayo about? And then we played it and I'm like, oh yeah, they're boss characters. They're sick. And then Bayo 2, like, all right, all right. And then they announced Bayo 3. And Colgate in full power and did people dirty. That's fine. You, you know, know, new shit, right? Old, <laughs> new shit. old shit had its time. New shit's coming through. New shit's real good. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd say that, I'd say that was You know it. what I mean? Yeah, yeah that's uh, fair. That's fair. We can, we can. Like, I, 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 the, the, the sadness of, of Bayo uh, was subsequently drowned out by the chance of Chai coming through very loudly. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Thank, thank God for Chai. <laughs> Exilator, how you doing? Been playing through Cyberpunk. Just wanted to say a few months ago, I think I saw someone's dono uh, imply the game wasn't a fit for an LP. And in my opinion, they could not be more wrong. Every quest, both main and side characters, really scream for the Wooly Reg analysis discussion, not to mention the entire setting itself and all the philosophical conundrums that bring it to light constantly. Just my two cents. Happy New Year. Yeah, so what I did, um, uh, I, I did hear, um, I remember when Solidus specifically was saying that, uh, yeah, it was uh, good for, like, some of the discussion, like maybe the play-by-play, -play, it would, would be too dense versus some of the overall themes and discussions of the world uh, that are, are worth having. I wanted to take a look for myself, see how I felt about the situation, and then make an assessment. Um, because I'm sure that there'd be a lot of really fun uh, uh, LPing to be had there. The question is simply, do I want to do it at sacrifice of every other thing on the channel, right, for yeah. months on end? Um you know, depends on what the game is. Certain Final Fantasy games, I'm down to play those for a while. I'm down to play Disco for a while. I'm down to do something particularly, you know, uh, drawn out for a while. For Cyberpunk, it's it's hard to say, right? And and especially when, if and when, in the middle of that, you know, sometime next, I don't know, February or so, maybe March, there might be like some other new, brand new crazy shit that everyone's like, yo, this thing now. Yeah. Then it's like, do you still That's feel the, the same case. way while yeah. we're in the middle of this? That you know, so it's yeah. it's difficult. It's difficult. So I was gonna check it out a little bit myself and see if uh, how I felt about it personally, and let that decide. Because um, I do think a short play for the length, size, and scope of that wouldn't be the right way to do it. But I don't know. I don't know. But I, I hear that. Uh, I'll take that into consideration certainly. Uh, I don't know how many people agree with you or how many people would like to see cyberpunk at the to the detriment of other things, but uh, it's definitely being considered. KYH9, how you doing? Uh, cue the telenovela Indian soap opera zoom in 
uh, as Pat breaks into the room going podcast, will we podcast with Eyepatch Wolf screaming to me Trump? Not quite, K Y H. Not quite. <laughs> There's different things happening. It's 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 totally fine, actually. Uh Martin Claw, how you doing? Loving the new haircut, Reggie. Happy New Year's to you both. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's just because it's new. That's that's the only reason. Give it two weeks. Yeah, it's fresh. Like, How's oh, that <laughs> ugly ass nigga again? <laughs> <laughs> there he is. I remember that guy. <laughs> you nappy headed, <laughs> <laughs> nappy ass fucking come around these parts. <laughs> KYH, coming from a JP main, it's funny how especially Street Fighter 6 Drive Rush impact stuff. Uh, continually relevant, the old UMVC3 meme, meme is, when I get in, you're going to die. Well, you're not getting in. And even if I don't, and even if you do. <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, I, 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 you, can, you can cut that simple by just going like, yo, I'm going to block this whack-ass mix-up. The whack-ass mix-up. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't have to cut me off. <laughs> you didn't have to lose control. Yeah, it's uh, it's good. It lasts forever. Shadow Tag, how you doing? Thank you very much for the support and generous donation. I really appreciate it, Shadow Tag. How Thanks. you doing? Thanks for watching and enjoying the show. Happy New Year's Eve, lads. Just want to say thanks to you both for the mad joy you brought with the LPs. Recently got into Gunpla. Nice. Been having a back and forth argument over what's better, New Gundam or High New Gundam. Okay, well, I mean, my brain goes to... I know New off the bat. I'm going to have to get High New up for reference. Um, hmm... Hmm. Hi, new. We got a version cop in this bitch. We got a Hajime Katoki, or uh, are we doing the MAHQ default line art? Let's see. New Gundam. Uh, <laughs> we sat down and played X versus Boost for two seconds at the arcades. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> Cool yeah. robots, what's happening? I don't yeah. know. Well, thanks for the games. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, I mean, look. I have I say it a bunch because I'm a fan. But the, ver the new has a version ka, right? And a version ka is usually puts the right extra lines in the right extra places. You know, in particular, just takes a little pass at it. Makes it look a little bit more like a machine. I'm a fan of uh, when we get the the Katoki versions of things. Um, I can see here. Is there a high new version, Kyle? Let me take a look. I didn't see it when I looked it up. Uh, oh yeah, there it is. Okay. Um. Yeah. It's personally just my my own aesthetic. Um. There we go. So first of all, version cough for both is what we'd be considering, right? Not not even talking about the originals. Um, I'm going to go new original because I'm kind of... And it's not it's not like the... It's not its fault because, I mean, time is, is, is such that this would have predated it. But, like, everything that looks too much like wing and strike and too angelic is kind of just like... We get it. It's an angelic Gundam, man. We get it. Yes, it has its big digital wings. You know, like I like the fact that the new has like it doesn't look like wings necessarily. It, it looks like it's like a plated weapon on its back. And that just is a little bit more distinct of a silhouette. There's like 15 different like main character has angelic wings versions of the Gundam that I'm just like, yeah, OK, all right. Shield, sword, shield, and you spread your wings. We know. We know. Yes. Like I'm a little bit tired of the angel wing look. Um I say that while my favorite mech is Jehuti, but Jehuti, the, you know, they're weird, disjointed mini cherub wings, and also the fucking thing has no legs. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or it has no feet, and it has, like, sexy hips, so it's weird enough that it gets away with it. But I'm, I'm a little bit more inclined to give it to designs that don't just look like they're doing the, the wing thing again, because I'm really, I'm getting a bit tired of wings. So, yeah, there we go. That's what it is. 
um, you blur your eyes and, and cross them, you could you could mistake high new for a, 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 a fucking strike freedom. And that's not acceptable. I hope that answers your question. Um, Flunkorg, how you doing? Happy New Year. And wow, that racist Kickstarter shit on the podcast was wild. <laughs> that was real fun. Yeah. Yeah. Good Ooh. stuff. Good Ooh. stuff. Ooh. Um, there's a... I might have mentioned a, a board game... Uh, the other day, some time ago, that there was a Kickstarter that infamously never came to fruition because the creator was told by the Sun to not release the product, and uh, it's infamously one of the most nutty Kickstarters ever. Well, uh, there was a final update, and boy, does it go places! So, interesting. Yeah, I believe I don't know if the podcast clip is out yet, but it should be. If it's not out today already, it should be out either today or tomorrow. But, um. There's a, there should be, it's up. Okay. Yeah. So the, the clip, I believe, although I think someone else yo ho ho that clip seconds after it happened. Um, but I think officially we have it up. Where is it? No, no, the clip is not up actually. The final Catalica update is wild. That's coming out tomorrow. Um, what y'all are seeing is uh, someone else grabbed it and threw it up there. But anyway, it'll be up shortly. Oh. So oh, please look forward to it. <laughs> look at it again. We appreciate your support and your continued patronage. Thank you for enjoying the podcast. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay. Uh, Yandoria, how you doing? Happy New Year's, guys. Reggie, dig the haircut. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you very much. Thank you. KYH9. Oh, yeah, I wanted to say that if you're ever in the insane mood to do so, um, go try a high-fizz fascist run in disco. There's maybe 10 to 12 extra long shivers moments, and I think the fascist quest line is maybe the best written quest in the game. I did start actually exactly that. I'm in, I am in the middle uh, I haven't played in a, in a minute, but I started exactly that. A physical only big dumb Nazi run, right? Just to see what the complete opposite playthrough of a weak cerebral liberal <laughs> is like. Uh, so I did, I started exactly that. We got it. We got a version of the game that's like, you're a sad, weak, pathetic man stuck in his own thoughts. And those thoughts are haunting you. Um, and somewhere deep down, you're trying to be a good person, but dear God, you can't stop being awful. And that's a fun version of the game, and I'm glad we did it. And I want to know what happens when you're just like, fuck that, head empty, you know, nice subtext, idiot, check this shit out. Ha! <laughs> like, you know, subtlety, what the fuck ever. What happens when you play Big Dumb Nazi? I'm curious. Um, and I've, I've heard some of the consequences too. And, uh, like I, some of them sound like fucking brutal. So I am, I am doing that. Yeah. Pet shop. How you doing? Can't wait to see you wrap up AC six in the new year. They introduced some really cool parts recently added competitive matchmaking. And, uh, it makes me sad. There's still no cross play. So you couldn't get into, uh, piloting games. Yeah. So, uh, you know, just, I mean, reminder that like we never set AC six as a full let's play. It is ultimately a short play. I am enjoying it enough to want to see the cool shit that continues to happen. But I don't know that we're going to do like multiple runs to see all endings or anything like that. It's more just like... Yeah, don't you have to do like three new game pluses or something? Like the... Yeah, it, but it comes to mind though. I think that... I think a lot of the confusion has come from the fact that like the schedule and the podcast, I'll kind of talk about what the LP is going to be. But if you're just coming from YouTube, you just see part one. And there's no explanation necessarily, right. which is why I try to say in the part what it's going to be, but that never, that doesn't stick. So most of the time there's a, there's a, a, a question of like, when are they going to finish this? And it's like, I never said we would, but how do I get that message to you? Um, so yeah, uh, maybe in the description of the first video or in the title, somewhere in it, it might be helpful to let people know that. But we, I do want to come back to AC6, just no promises on us doing the, the, the full run on it for sure. Um, 
Shinobi Phoenix, how you doing? Good future New Year. Take your Bezos bucks. This is mostly to Reggie, but what's your experience with the Punch Out, especially the arcade versions? Trying to plant the seeds of a Reggie versus Punch Out series in the minds. Boxing is fighting too. I mean, they know me. I fucking Punch Out is yeah. one of the coolest things ever. I love Absolutely. Punch Out. Um, so I beat Mike Tyson's Punch Out as a kid. Good shit. Um, Straight to the boss or use, using the code or uh, all, all the way through? What do you mean? Like, Did you use the code to go straight to Mike Tyson? Oh, no. I did like all the minor, nice. m- middle, That's major. That's really hard to do as a kid. That's yeah, one of well, the hardest games. I'm built different. Okay. Yeah. Well, we did it too, but you know. Like, yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, I, I did Good it job. As a kid. It's an accomplishment. I, I did that and I did Ninja Gaiden 1 as Man, a kid Man, it's like too. I beat Mega Man 2. I'm built different. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I beat Sonic and Knuckles. I'm so fucking nice. <laughs> yo, yo, Mike Tyson. My brother is like 10, 12 years older than me. He couldn't he couldn't get that far. He couldn't beat Mike Tyson. And I beat Mike Tyson. He didn't believe me, so I did it in front of him. So hold that. Anyway, and then I played a Super Punch Out a lot. Um, especially on emulator when I got my PC. Well, I also played on Super Nintendo back in the days, but Yo, um, the moment motherfucker just takes a knee. <laughs> oh shit it's real <laughs> yeah. yeah and um i did not play the the wii version i think it was oh the, the wii. The, yeah the new oh man that was great too yeah yeah you told me it was great I, yeah. yeah it's it it's a val it is a worthy successor mm-hmm. it's it's just the platform the genre the everything about it is like it's never gonna be the time of punch out being big is gone you know, it, it can never be um, a huge deal again. But, like, to anybody who knows Punch-Out, that game was fucking great. Yeah. And, again... And I was told who was the final boss in that one, unfortunately. So. Uh, it's fine. That's fine. Yeah. It's not about that. It's actually the new game plus is the sickest shit about ever. Okay. It's not about your journey to the top and fighting everything you've done. It's the fact that new game plus is title defense mode. Oh, that's cool. You are the champ. And they're coming back around to take the belt. That's sick. And they're improving from where they started. So Glass Joe puts a helmet on. <laughs> now what? That's funny. Now what? King Hippo puts a fucking pot of armor on his stomach. Damn. So that you can't get to the stomach. Now what? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck, ref? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's so fun. It's so sick. Like, they all come back and their weak points are fucking covered. Figure it out. You know, it is a puzzle fight. Um, yeah. What, what, exactly. Like, what's the ref doing? A gorilla's in the fucking ring. <laughs> <laughs> it was a freak show from the start. Okay, fine. Yeah. So good. <laughs> fucking parry this casual. Um... Yeah, you gotta you gotta play the new Punch Out for sure. Nope, bad guy. Imagine being Alfelt's ex, who she ran out on the wedding at the Awakening, to being a Valentine and seeing her now. That's the kind of L that changes a man forever. Yeah, that's pretty rough. But you know what? Like, at the end of the day, blame the Sanctus Maximus, right? Like, <laughs> it's it's not her Alfelt's fault. She fucking awoke and. You know, she wanted to get married, but her purpose was secret and nefarious. So, eh, it's not, you know, that's, 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 uh, you can't blame her for that shit. It's rough for him, but take that revenge out like Biken did on uh, the wrong target. <laughs> Dedicate yourself to revenge and, and go, go try to fucking take out, um, well, okay, the Sanctus Maximus who... You know, the real evil was actually behind you. Know, there's layers. You can go aim at happy chaos if you want, I suppose. But either way, um, yeah, I don't blame her. Do we actually see the guy? Or? Never, never. Good for him. It's just described in her story. We never get a... a <laughs> Good. The, he's some poor metal singer that gets fucking dropped. Oh, no, back to your life of infinite groupies and the road and shit, you know? Yeah. Chad Kroger, what? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. 
fucking Avril Lavigne awakened. Yo, <laughs> that was that was top level, bro. <laughs> Holy shit! Shit. Okay. Giant Avril Lavigne with skater boy mode and just <laughs> dark shadows, guns from heaven coming down. <laughs> yeah. All right. Booty Steve, how you doing? That's a great name. I love that name. Straight to the point. Booty Steve. <laughs> Tip top slop if I can't stop and I need a mop. <laughs> Tip top slop till I can't stop and I need a mop. There you go. Booty Steve is doing it. Champion. <laughs> That's good shit right there. He knows what he's about. Or he knows what he's got. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you got it. You got it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so from now on, from now on, That's the, sound effect. the annihilation noise. From now on, the annihilation noise means that. Fuck me, that's good. <laughs> done. Done and done and done. Let's go. It's time. It's time. All right, what do we got? Team Red yeah. almost at the finish line. Yes, so, you know, barring any horrible accidents, I think Team Red is pretty much ready to take mm -hmm. the year 2023. Uh, I think Team Red pretty much has it. We just need to tap it in. Just tap it in just real, it real in. slowly and carefully. Let's see if we can avoid disaster. Um, but either way, once Team Red completes it, we'll switch back up and finish up what Team Blues had to say. So, let me in. Oh, let's see any notes about where to start. Nope, it's a three-minute sketch. Our sounds... Are you hearing anything? Nope. All right. I think I know why. Let me try to fix that. And... Uh, let me mute the TV while we're at it. Yep, that's the problem right there. The old culprit. Uh, back to life, back to reality. I hit the button over here. I mute this, but it's a fake mute. Then I do the real mute. That's the tech. They don't know about that tech. They don't know. They'll never know. And then we click. This sketch is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Tom Ska, let me in. Oh no, I haven't seen Let the Right One In though. I hope I still get it. Hi. Glad to in. No? Have you seen it? No. No. Okay. All right. There's a movie called Let the Right One In. I've heard the title. I don't know what it's about. Then they made an American remake. Uh, I think the uh, me, the remake was called Let Me In. Okay. And it's about these kids. And, like, there's a little girl that's a vampire. And there's a little boy. And I think the girl has to get invited into the... to Because vampires have to do that. Yeah, you they can't walk in unless you invite them in usually. Okay. I okay. don't know. All right. I don't know if it has to do with this or not. But just in case it does, um, that's what's up. Oh. Oh, yeah, absolutely not. What about now? Still no. Sorry, are you a vampire? Yeah, no. Vampires need to be invited in, don't they? Well, no. Show me your teeth. Don't have any teeth. Go on, give us a smile. But you've got a nice smile. 
Breaking a Fabergé <laughs> egg specifically. Hello, I'm someone else. Can I come in? Why do you want to come in? Play, play Wii Sports. <laughs> Wii. I do. Drop my. Yeah, that would break. A GameCube wouldn't break, but mm -hmm. it would be absolutely oh, Nintendanium okay. alloy. If you want. Not ready. Okay, I'm gonna go. No. You're in the box, aren't you? No. So you wouldn't mind if I stab the box? Do I stab the box? Because you're in the box. Blood. No. Alright. Oh my god. What? He stabbed my box. Oh. It was a present. What was it? Of course. Oh. Oh. Right. I don't want to have to do this. Do what? You've left me no choice. Uh. Here I go. Oh no. Can I come in? 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 Nope. Can I come in? No. Can I come in? No. Can I not come in? No. Oh. Can we have a pull cool dad? Can we have a pull cool dad? Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Mm. That was cheap. I said I didn't want to do it. Well, I guess you're going to eat me now. No. Well, you're a vampire. No, I'm not. What are you then? Not a Jehovah's Witness. Oh. Well, have you heard the teacher? <laughs> oh no! This is much worse. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Nicely Thanks to done. Surfshark VPN for sponsoring Good this privacy-themed sketch. Surfshark is a so much, much worse. worse. So 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 much worse. There you go. Nice. Yeah. No, I don't let them in. Don't do it. Don't do it. But that's not going to stop them. Know why? I told you about the tech. <sighs> Level three. Foot in the door. No, yo, when they see the chance, the quick time event pops, foot, zzz, there's shadows behind it. Uh, no, hold on a minute. Wait, we're talking about your salvation, man. <laughs> I don't want to be saved. The level of escalation after, at, on that moment is like, yeah, I'm drop kicking you. <laughs> like I don't that's want to be your get like your foot is in the door and my feet are on your chest, both of them. Just dra drop kick. Um, wild. Can can you just trust me and you know I'll I'll, I'll do the reading. Just go go away. <laughs> Fucking watchtower. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, so it had nothing to do with the movie. Fair enough. Just in case. Just in case, by the way. You don't have to just get down case. my throat. Just in case. Just in case. You never know. But yeah, we should watch that movie, I guess. I heard it's good. Yeah, I heard good. And I heard good. the remake is actually decent, too. But okay. the original is probably the best. Probably? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Flux is fluxing. All right, I'll stop Flux. Hold up. They be fluxing on concerning what nobody wanna say. <laughs> I mean, sure. Sure. You know what? My brain goes musical at random times. Yours almost never does. You're allowed. <laughs> <laughs> I do that for no reason constantly. What am I supposed to do? Give you fucking guff for it? <laughs> Sing. Sing your heart Sing out. Sing your heart out. Let's go. Uh, disable until sunrise. Till the sun goes up and the sun goes down. I got myself into the town. All I do, I want to do with you. There you go. <laughs> Every day I'm at my desk, at my desk just like the rest. All I do, I want to do with you. What's that from? Beats me. What the fuck is that from? It's a trailer. It's a movie trailer. It's a movie trailer. Sin City? Sin City movie trailer? Yeah, thank you. There we go. Was, uh, it, was it breathy? No, 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 it wasn't. It wasn't. 
Right, right. Okay, that's it. It's the Sin City movie music trailer, and then it had a vocal. It was original. There's the original track, but the music was just the instrumental. And I was like, "Ooh, that song is cool," because I watched that trailer so many times. Let's see. And then I went back to like play it, and I was like, "Oh yeah, now I got that song stuck in my head." There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Um, the other one. Can we get to the slop Grouchio for that reason? I'm taking another tangent. Furthermore, <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> How dare you? Listen. So when trailer music gets hype and it gets stuck in your head, uh, I love that shit. And I remember the last time that happened to me back at the office was when the um, the Watchmen trailer dropped. Okay. Right? And it was uh, the end is the beginning is the end. And it was such a fucking sick song. It was like, I was like, that's a song. I was like, I actually didn't really know it before until that trailer. And then like that was us. And back Done. in the day, I think you were around too with Shmup, Shmup God Pat. We just fucking played that track over and over and over again and you're like you know what Zack Snyder's a fucking hack but god damn it these musical moments sometimes are better than the movie you know you got it sometimes you really do kind of just want that music video to happen yeah no I, I don't I it's, it's cool but when it appeals to my nostalgia and just like you take something that's really good and you put it over your shit and then it makes it good I'm like no 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 don't do that don't do that. I won't allow it. I will not. And you know what I'm thinking about, all right? That the Kanye shit. I'm no. Don't let him do it. Don't let him do it. He takes harder, better, faster, stronger. He makes a banger with it. That nigga's crazy. Listen to the words that are actually coming out of his mouth. I original. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the only one. I'm like, yeah, thanks. For yeah. Kenya's doing something with No! You need to Don't right let him. Up. Motherfucker's like, Yeezy's back. All right. No. <laughs> Don't let him. Every time we heard that song on the way down to Florida, it was <laughs> incredible. It was so good. Don't let him. And I like how just like for anyone who has any semblance of a moment that you're like, okay, wait, hold on. Now that the dust has settled, has he, has he taken his medication? <laughs> has he consulted anybody? Has he talked to anyone? Is he getting help? What's the deal? And there's just fucking shaky cam footage of him in the office being like, Jesus, no, God, Hitler, Yay! <laughs> That's the order. You're like, ah! There he is. <laughs> what? What? what you know you what? Say? He's back. He's back. He is back. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't do not, uh, do, America. Do not let him do it. God damn it, dude. Tell him no. I think I don't think he got the license to it officially. I think that's why that track is actually a fucking. Uh, 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 it might. I don't think. I don't think the Backstreet Boys okayed it, so it might just be like a a, a, a mixtape thing. You know, it might be a street drop. Wild, no. absolutely wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. I hear you no. on that. I know what you mm -mm. mean. Mm -mm. Um, but you know, shout outs to, like we said before, Mad World on uh, Gears of War. On Gears of War. Yeah. Shout outs to uh, the White Rabbit um on uh lost odyssey you know there's times where it works there's times where it works yep he made graduation man thriller you know anyways who the fuck was saying what about tangents hush your mouth <laughs> hush child a lot of cats running around here with that name stan leones We'll go try to explain our thinking on how we're coming across and why we're doing overkill the you way it is. By H Bomber guy. Yeah. Hey, what's up, H Bomber guy? His equipment's got to be overkill as well. Oh heck so. yeah! Always okay, remember. Here. Always All remember. Right. I think I've seen this. Okay. Along those lines, <laughs> he's got the biggest shoulder pads. Like I this. figured he would. Chest, okay, wait. I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him some big knee pads here, because a guy like him that's got some armor and got some guns and Has stuff like that pads. is gonna. Boy, he looks grim, doesn't he? Kids, you know, I mean, the kids, li the kids like the dark, moody mm, stuff. I mean, they seem you know, to. The, I mean, you're... But I have a question I've been wanting to ask you guys. Mm -hmm. How long does it take these people Fucking to dress? Fucking kind of Rob, they undress? Todd, I mean, and Stan. Something they have to get out quickly to save the world, but it takes them an hour and a half to Stan. get into all of this stuff That's if right. they work fast. That's right. Getting into the costume is like going to the bathroom in comic books. 
you never show it, but you assume that Superman and Batman and Spider-Man actually do go and urinate every now and then, right? You're right, but you never do show it, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> but you do show, very often you show people getting dressed, especially women. I seem to recall that now. Yeah, no. <laughs> you want the hands Oh, yeah, I'm the best. You do hands? Yeah, but why don't we give them here wires coming out here. Oh. 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 The wires that he'll trip over. Oh my god, he's just batting down everything. He, he knows! Is he really no. a meek accountant uh, who, who, in real life? Who, who, who else could he be besides Overkill? Well, I mean, what if, when he takes off all these clothes, is he a 97 pound weekly? Do you see him taking off? <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, his thumb. He would have three different cannons different, that are okay. facing you. Okay. I have to ask. I loaned you Kingdom Come a while ago. Did you ever actually get to it? I peaked at the beginning. Fuck. I need to get through it. That book. This is what that book is about. Okay. This video, this exact moment right here is what that entire book is about. This is the fucking 80s, 70s, the gold silver age, the golden age violently clashing into the 90s. And Todd McFarlane in particular, had a lot of contributions to Spider-Man with the posing and shit that made him dynamic and awesome, and then went on and did Spawn and is 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 very competent. Okay. But Rob Liefeld, who's in the, who's basically doing that Jim Lee style, but just no understanding of anatomy whatsoever, represents all of that shit. All of this pouches, chains, spikes nonsense shiny metal crazy batshit nonsense he's all about that and that took over comics for like the 90s that this was the way yeah right and like literally this type of character rolls into the future in kingdom come and old superman is like what the fuck is going on here <laughs> right and like okay. i mean look look miles like uh, Pseudo, you're not gonna. It's um, spoiler alert for Kingdom Come, okay? But new fucking shiny ass motherfucker like this, Rob Liefeld character, rolls in and just blows Joker away, just kills him. And everyone's like, "Fuck yeah, damn straight, what the fuck, Superman? <laughs> Could have done that a long you time. loser. What took you so long? Magog rules. Magog, Magog. Everyone's all about it, and Superman's like." I'm out of here. Fuck all y'all. Nice. <laughs> right? I'm leaving. Go away. Right? And it's just, it's exactly this. It's just like, it's its the 90s characters just clashing violently into, you know, what was the old superhero. Okay. You know, the old tights and capes. And it's like, should you murder Joker? Right? I mean, seems like it's the right call in most circumstances. But then other things happen and there's other stuff to it. Okay. You know? But as a, as a, as a, as a jumping-off point, and also Alex Ross is, like, one of the most talented, amazing artists ever who does, like, like insane, detailed pencil work to, like... The question of art capability is, like, he's beyond... Like, it's, 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 it's it, the art in the story is coming from someone who's above it all, basically. You get to say whatever you want, critique-wise, about the artwork of the 90s, 80s, 70s, Silver Age, Golden Age, whatever you want to talk about. You're Alex fucking Ross. You get to do whatever you want, mm -hmm. right? And it's just, it's it's exactly this conversation. It's Stanley going, but is he going to trip over those chains? What are those spikes for? <laughs> How does he go to the bathroom? <laughs> and everyone's like, shut the fuck up, old <laughs> man! He rules! It's so good. It's so, so fun. And it also is like jumping forward into the t into the future. So you get the, the third strike version of every character, you know, the old man version of everyone and stuff. And I enjoy that too. But I, yeah, it just comes to mind so hard based on this. A large Kapui. So right here. They can be like missile launchers or whatever. Pouches on pouches. What makes you can make those value judgments? Why only three? He's got four knuckles. Because the reader's crazy. This... Why does he have more on that side than that side? No, no. <laughs> For the sake of our unseen viewers, mm -hmm. is this really the type of thought process that you guys go through when you yes. create characters? Except, except for we have more than 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> We're using probably longer than you usually do. Well, I think I, I've got to say seriously, oh, that was savage. it's easy for me to do. 
But I think it's very impressive that in a matter of 20 minutes, you guys could come up with something. <sighs> I mean, bad as it is, it's still <laughs> impressive that you were able to do it this quickly. Well, we're, yeah, that's a cool <laughs> way. <that Robert laughs> you promised <laughs> and we would do the job. The way they cut. Grow sorry. up a little more. You okay. know, we'll let you in right. there with the grown-ups. Yeah. Well, when you, when you were creating characters, Stan, mm -hmm. uh, what was the process back then? I mean, because Rob and I right now, we do our own writing and our own drawing. We we don't we don't collaborate with mm -hmm. anybody anymore. So that's the problem, and I've been meaning to talk to you guys about that. Boy, he's <laughs> a grim-looking guy. There's no way this man can move. He's got to have a power to defy gravity. I would say, just looking at he's him. He's a tank. I mean, I, what do you think of him? Now, the funniest thing would be if you say that these are jets and he's the fastest man alive. That and the way you have him. We've got to justify oh. all this paraphernalia somehow. Okay. I don't know that you're really doing my job. Oh, he doesn't stop. Dude, like, yeah, the image comics yeah, fucking you know, vibe, man. I want to tighten those feet. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. Give him an ankle bone here, an ankle bone here. Mm hmm. I mm -hmm. it takes you longer to sign your name Heck than to draw yeah. a picture. You know? It is. I'm going to step out, okay? Incidentally, you guys have ruined us. We've decided to give up comics and we're going into showbiz. <laughs> Now, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't that character eventually be become overt kill, not overkill? Didn't didn't isn't it? <laughs> oh my God! I think it takes you longer to sign your name. Heck than your yeah! Picture. <laughs> it is. I'm gonna step out, okay? Incidentally, you guys have ruined us. We've decided to give up comics. <laughs> Oh my god. Yes. Hard cut to the fucking <laughs> MCU. <laughs> oh, that's so rough, dude. God damn. He was holding back. What are these kids doing? He was holding back. And that's that's Rob Liefeld and fucking Todd McFarlane, right? Like that's the crazy thing. Like, they're both of that era, one very talented, the other very much not so, you know? But, like, with that untalent, single-handedly, just, like, just ruining that, just, ah. Wow. Wow. God damn, Stan. Yeah, he was doing it for, like, four decades by then? And he, again, holding back. He's on mic, he's on camera, he's playing somewhat to the audience. But he's like, drawing what the like fuck beginners. are you doing? Drawing like beginners. <sighs> you know what it is? Can I can I use the term? It's giving. You know, you know how they say it's giving, right? It's giving Miyazaki the uh, like like learning about three D animation and 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 watching the the creature come to life, right? Like if, if it's a have you ever seen that? It is it is Hayao Miyazaki fucking just watching new developments in animation technology and he does not like what he sees and from your I face see. we're pulling it right up <laughs> we're pulling it right up is right? it the one where he's smoking a cigarette it's the clip it's the one where that falsely gets attributed to anime was a mistake it's nothing but trash right because that that's not the action that's not an actual quote but like it became a meme because it's very believable that it's something he would say um but it's it's where he's just like they the, these they come to show Miyazaki some new technology and he's like what the fuck are you doing what is wrong with you <laughs> uh it's 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 giving that it's giving Miyazaki <laughs> um all right let's see Miyazaki artificial intelligence here we go okay 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 i think we got it here <sighs> boy again and that's again stan has the filter right and because of that filter he's gonna continue to show up in those the cameos right. and all of those movies they're gonna keep inviting and him. everyone's like yeah there he is uh -huh. you know miyazaki is tired and he has no fucks to give He's like 82 years old. He has no fucks to give. There's no time to smile and wink and nod and call anyone a true believer. 
I'm about to leave. I have seconds left on the clock. I have the truth. What are you sh what are you wasting my time with? You're bringing me into my uh, into the office to show me something. What are you showing me? This is uh Hayao Miyazaki's thoughts on artificial intelligence. The link is from Manhattan Project for a Nuclear Free World. Okay. A presentation of an artificial intelligence model with certain learned movements. It looks like it's dancing. It learned its movement on its own. It's moving using its head. Doesn't feel any pain. Has no concept of protecting its head, so it's using its head like a leg. It's so creepy, it can be applied to like a zombie video game. Yeah, it reminded me of some Silent Hill stuff. Look at these grotesque movements. AI doing things that humans can't imagine. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is what we've been working on. Hontone! <laughs> Every morning, not recent days, but I see my friend who has a disability. It's so hard for him to just go do, to do a high five. His arm with stiff muscle reaching out to my hand. Now, thinking of him, I can't watch this stuff and find it interesting. Whoever creates this stuff has no idea what pain is or whatsoever. I'm utterly disgusted. <laughs> the guy in the if back! If you really want to make creepy stuff, you can... I would never wish to incorporate this technology into my work at all. I strongly feel this is an insult to life itself! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, uh, Ahsoka. <laughs> This is just our experiment. We don't mean to do anything by showing it to the world. I understand, yes. Suzuki, so what is your goal? <laughs> We'd like to build a machine that can draw pictures like humans do. Would you? Yes. Where's the soul? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. It is an affront to life itself! May God have mercy on your soul! I feel like we're nearing the end of times! Humans are losing faith in ourselves! Bro! Oh my god. <laughs> he does not have time for your shit! He didn't hold back. <laughs> he, he forgot the filters at home. <laughs> like, dude. And, and like... Like, and just... Like, in the middle of, like, roasting your entire existence off of this planet, he has the humanity to come at it from a place of humanity, right? And and the fact that he introduces it going, my friend. My friend. He grounds it into reality. And that's the types of stories he tells you, right? Like, that type. Of, the, he starts out his roast the same way he would tell you a story. Mm -hmm. I have a friend who struggles to move. This is fucking disgusting. Right? Like, that right there. He's like, like, where is your humanity? It's coming from a very human place while he's annihilating your existence. You know? The last thing you see before you fade to dust like fucking a Dragon Ball villain is you think of the friend he's describing. And you make that face like that guy did going, oh, oh, hmm. <laughs> For me, it was the the guy in the back when he was talking, and he was like, <laughs> and just like oh, right shit. on board. Suzuki's like, "What are your goals?" <laughs> That's a fucking head scratch, man. That's a. Uh, uh, <sighs> Bro, we just wanted to show you something cool. Why you gotta do us like that? Fuck your AI, bro. <laughs> How dare you? Oh my god. That, right? Same, same energy. Same energy. Same energy. <laughs> it's giving. the <laughs> <laughs> Two slaps. <laughs> Two slaps. <laughs> <laughs> what the
what you have created is an affront to life itself. What were your goals? Uh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is why he's so great this is why he's so great <laughs> oh fuck oh shit <laughs> yo he has no time to waste man god damn it that's that's exactly it yo yeah <laughs> no time to waste god fucking Get get fucking Photoshop out immediately. <laughs> <laughs> That's strong. Whew, good bit. All right. All right. Um, and that, my friends, is what we call a transformative work. Mm. Right? That's more than just clicking play and going to the bathroom. We do it a little different over here, don't we? I'll, I'll give myself a little, you know, pat on the back. Yeah. <laughs> B. <laughs> Tax time from NCS artist. Uh, how much? Secret. Why? Just guess. Six hundred dollars. Jail. <laughs> <laughs> nice guess. Yep. Yep. Ridiculous. Perfect. They know. Perfect. We got all the numbers. These jerks. I mean, hasn't it? It's been. It's been. That's a. That's a fact, right? That we've learned that, like, uh, the government knows exactly how much you owe. They know everything. They can just deduct it from you or give you a bill, but they don't specifically so that. We can fuck people over, garnish more, do whatever, like keep the entire system running, have a whole bunch of extra jobs, have a whole bunch of extra people getting in trouble and, and, and um, paying interest on, on shit and all kinds. Like the entire thing could just be a simple in, out, up, down, plus, minus exchange. But we want it to be more complicated. Just for the hell of it. Fucking evil. Fucking evil. Talk about things that could be fixed in the 21st century. <laughs> <sighs> but that's the problem. And um, I remember where we were talking about this recently, too, because it was like there's not like we've hit a point where, you know, oh, late stage capitalism. But like, no, we have hit a point where it's like actually every time you improve humanity or life of quality of life somewhat for enough of a quadrant of humanity or so uh you risk fucking up the business of a whole lot of people that are entrenched in that business therefore life can no longer improve mm. any drastic major changes that from the way the industrial revolution hit all the way up through to the 40s, 50s, 60s, where new inventions would come, and then just like that, bam, paradigm shift. Oh my god, all, so many of those motherfuckers that are surviving for can't, much longer. We can't have that. That can't happen anymore, because if anything that does that and, like, violently deforests the, the, the old way of doing things is just too much of a disruption, right? Every time it happens on the internet, it's, it's aggressive. It's, it's, it's a war. It's a, blood, it's a knife fight. And it gets ripped away from their hands, and they're too late because the internet is too fast. But Napster, net neutrality, streamers, right? All of these things are violent reactions to the speed of the internet. And they're, they're trying to find ways to get ahead of it. But it's one of the few places where paradigm shifts still occur because the concept of like a torrent will just spread. It'll be quick, easy, everyone can use it. And before you know it, like it's, it's out there. You can't really stop it. But like on an official level, if there's any way to grind anything that might make things better to a halt, that's what's going to happen from now on, right? Um, it's and it's and it's, and it's kind of nuts because it's just like you want to fucking not be doomer pilled, you know? But that shit Trying. when you but when you see that that's a possibility, or when you're like, hey, um, when you find out that like public transport and things like a like a giant fucking a uh, 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 in invested rail between multiple cities would be super awesome. Why don't we get a Shinkansen going? You know, why don't we get something like that that could help with congestion and 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 all that shit? 
And it's like, oh, well, you know, that'd be cool. But like, if we're trying to sell you cars, we need you to buy these cars. Um, mm. So how about you fuck that rail thing? And I dig a couple holes in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and we slow this motherfucker down to a snail's pace so that nobody gets anywhere and in the meantime buy these fucking cars. <laughs> you They're know? real nice, by the way. And you're like, well, no Shinkansen for us then, you know? And it's not that simple. That's a like massive oversimplification, but ultimately it's, it's the more fun oversimplification. But it's the version of events that we just see in all these things where you're like, why can't things get better anymore? It's like, oh yeah, because... We hit that point, mm -hmm. right? It's too easy for someone to like just essentially pay for things to stay shitty. So, fuck. <laughs> Good conclusion. Yeah, it's real hard to not be super duper fucking, you know, a uh, 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 glass half empty, uh, empty on that. But I don't. I see no way out. Well, anyway. Um, cleaning out the room. Disco Elysium animatic by Plague. What if you no, didn't lose your Stigmata memory? Wood. What if something in Martinez came and stored it all away for you to slowly open one box at a time so you can choose which parts to keep? Keep almost none of it. Hold on, sorry, that started way too quickly. It, 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 it had no lead in. Give us a second. All right, let's try that again. What if you didn't lose your memory? What if something in Martinez came and stored it all away for you to slowly open one box at a time so you can choose which parts to keep? Keep almost none of it. Only the flowers on the windowsill. Only the distant sound of a radio. Lose all the actors, the dark shadows. Leave only the still lifes, the blissful distant waves. If everybody knew, you never did. She'll be coming soon. That is all. See you tomorrow. <sighs> See you tomorrow night. <sighs> that's the line. That's that's what unmade me. You know? Like the only fucking solace being that, like, all right, you're having the worst night of your life. It will eventually end. This will be a moment that we can look back on, hopefully grow from. And, oh, my God, it happens every single night. <laughs> and this is why we don't sleep. See you tomorrow. Oh! Heavy. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. oh man yeah there's very few things like 40 to 50 or so hours in that you can drop at that point that'll still have like an emotional an impact. impact yeah that's one of them saving that for last right right into the final sequence is <sighs> Like, that's, to me, because, and basically that leads right into the bit, right? But it's like, that is where you're like, this poor, this poor man, there's nothing. I, anything you do, anything you do, you are so, so fucked, you know? And, and to have that validated by just like the miracle of your existence, you know? Like the fact that you even function is insane. <laughs> Oh, God damn it. Yeah. Shout outs to uh, the recent hard drive article. Uh, how to slow, I think it's how to slowly disconnect from your friend who won't stop talking about Disco Elysium. <laughs> <sighs> listen. I mean, can you blame your friend? Listen. Currently, we live in the before times. If we happen to live in a world in the future, where disco, because of the fan base or internet or something, becomes a hacky, tired subject. If it gives the if people roll their eyes the, the way they do when they hear about Homestuck fan bases or Undertale fan bases, I'll be a very sad person, right? I'll be a very sad person if that ever comes uh, comes to be. 
because as it stands, I fucking love that game so much. It would make me so sad for that to happen. Uh, I really hope it doesn't. In the meantime, though... It's okay, you can hope for a Netflix adaptation. I mean, hope for. They, they said they were trying to make one. I did not know that. Not Netflix, but Amazon. Yeah, that was part of the whole lawsuit thing that was going on. Mm -hmm. Why don't you all start with Sacred and Terrible Air? <laughs> Why don't you fucking adapt that? HBO? Yeah? Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's spend some time there with the linoleum salesman. Mm. See, see how you feel about, about that work first. Um, yeah. I, I would really hate if this world becomes one where saying the word Disco Elysium invokes eye rolls. And, like, that that article was, like, the beginning of the, like, uh-oh. Oh, no. What's going on? Please don't be this. But um, until that time comes, um, it's, it's, it's the best written video game I've ever played. I don't know shit about shit, but, like, nothing hit like that. Mm. You know? Please don't take it away from us. Yeah. And I and I and I'm painfully aware too of the like, Wooly, you don't read enough books. You only experience literature through video games and anime and movies and pop culture. You don't understand what people have been writing for years in libraries and you've never experienced things that are actually considered great works enough to realize that the shit you're looking at and considering profound is actually quite base. I've seen that take. I get it. I, I, I know, but I also think that I'm not alone in that there's a whole lot of us that have not experienced the great works out there in that way. And if you are, you're, you're better than me. Congratulations. That's cool. Enlighten me, please, you know, but there's a whole lot of us that are in the dark on a lot of things like that. I can only feel my way through what I experienced and, and, you know, give you a book report on, yeah. on it afterwards. Um, How dare you enjoy your thing? Yeah, it's not even about that, though. It's not even about that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even about, it's not even about lashing back against that because I, I have had that said to me, you know, more than once. And it's like, okay, fair enough. Y you know, you've probably dove super deep into this. You know, you might have uh, a, an entire Asimov library covered top to bottom and you can go way into sci-fi in ways that i could never even begin to mm -hmm. that's awesome i would love to know more about that but uh in the meantime i think this is pretty cool <laughs> like like that's that's as much as i can i can give you you know um hi i'm nancy hi Nice to meet oh you. shit! Nancy. Nancy, that's my mom's name. My um, dad named me after my great aunt who was a slave. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Uh, I think this is yeah. Shoutouts to whoa, hey, he, no stats for nerds. Shoutouts Jubilee. This is clipped by K, but I'm pretty sure this is a Jubilee uh, video where people do like little you know reactions of groups of people. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Nancy. Nancy, that's my mom's name. My dad named me after my great aunt who was a slave. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Slightly uncomfortable. I mean, look, Nancy. <laughs> Come on. All right? Come on. I don't know what the topic of that particular... Like, that show has different topics. So maybe the topic was appropriate... To drop the nuke, you know, maybe it was it was called for. But if we were just meeting, context, if we were just meeting to discuss flowers, Nancy needs to chill. <laughs> or, or Nancy needs to look around and see how uncomfortable everyone can be made, and then just start fucking, you know. <laughs> Wow! Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Jesus Christ! Yeah, not me chilling in the back, just being like Nancy. <laughs> Amistad.
a group of oh <laughs> brennan what's going on jibo a group of white guys is called we got two bros in the car you know it's so true let's start a podcast right now <sighs> well that's a group of white guys though four more vi- white guys is a podcast that's actually the technical term that's for the <laughs> <laughs> A murder of crows, a podcast of what? Yeah. For credibility. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh Oh, no. (laughs) Oh boy. Takahata and Brennan getting up to some shit over there. That's hilarious. Damn. Yep. Yep. Black guy for validity added to the white group? What does that feel like? <laughs> That's crazy. What a novel it concept. Makes it complete, you know? What <laughs> makes it complete? Boy. Yeah. Do, uh. You don't have any experience with that, that side of things, do you? Have you ever you ever walked into a, a a room at a house party, and everyone's just like, "There you are, you would know." <laughs> like, "Hey, come over here." Not like that. <laughs> That's kind of direct. <laughs> you represent the committee. Uh, yeah, You're part of the committee, right? Yeah. Right. Ooh. Weigh in on this. Okay. Uh, yeah, the volume was a bit quiet. Whoopsie doodle. Um, yeah, I think that clip was particularly was particularly quiet. Uh, why were y'all yelling, Vinny? Was a was, did a certain alien pop up somewhere? Did I miss it? What's going on? Ah, uh, is this is this this is a Vinny over here? Okay. All right, dude, what you got for me? MSN Worm, 1999, UK. 30 seconds, the Hall of Advertising. I'm a sad and lonely earth So sad Freaky stories did it first. Yeah. What the fuck, man? Uh. What? Yeah, no, not quite. It happened to a friend of a friend of mine. <laughs> that's, <laughs> not, that's something else. Not the same energy, huh? Um, do worms turn into two things when you when you cut them? I heard about that when I was a kid, but I don't know how true that is. Is that actually something? Because, like, no, right? Do not know. Flatworms do, yes. Rat tails grow back, yes, but earthworms, that's not how that works. Yeah. Right. No, that's 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 what I was wondering. That's fucked up. MSN rat what tails grow back? Uh rats will like Holy if you crap. cut their if you cut Oh um not rats, um sorry, not rats. Uh iguanas. Okay. That's... Lizards, lizards, yes, lizards, okay. lizards, lizards. All right. Excuse okay. me. That I've heard too. <laughs> Excuse me, not rat tails, no. Lizards, if you cut their tail off, it'll grow back. <laughs> okay. Um But why MSN? Both. It caught our attention. I, I I suppose I would then go and download MSN Messenger. Actually, yeah, I guess that was the era of when it started to do like weird ads that you don't that were not linked with. What the, the fuck am I looking at? You like, got my that attention. cherry coke thing with the the ostrich. You Which know? one? There was a there was a cherry coke ad with a dude riding an ostrich just going. In like on the staircase and inside malls are just wrecking havoc and <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> and yeah don't worry about that <laughs> oh shit I hit the button fuck damn it ah! <laughs> god damn it I had that that did, did you catch that I, I caught a flash of it that's been sitting there for months and it hasn't been used yet and I accidentally clicked a button and now it's spoiled. Well, that's what you get. <laughs> I had this sitting ready to go. <laughs> oh, 
What the fuck? But it's been a while since you've said some wild shit, apparently. <laughs> so it never happened. But this was sitting ready to go at some what? point. You were tr- yeah. It was ready. Was- you were about to set me up. I had- it was set up. But then it never happened. So the bit's ruined. Oh, well. Time to dismantle it. The bit's gone forever. Oh, my God. I guess I've been pretty tame, I guess, lately. So the room cam... I, I zoomed everything out. It was there recently, but wasn't it? It was, but I moved it around because it wasn't serving its purpose once I rearranged all the cameras. It didn't need it anymore. So then I was like, I got an extra camera. What, what do I do what with I it? What am I going to do with it? Okay. Okay. And then you were getting ready for me. But that was months ago. Literally. Like, maybe since, like, October. <laughs> so, good job, okay. I guess. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, right. that's fair. I'm thinking about the, the date thing, but I guess that wasn't too wild. No, that and that was FF16. That was FF16, yeah. yeah. That and was not too wild enough. That me. wasn't unhinged in one shot. That was a slow burn of madness and and, and pain, which I offered an eject route and you didn't take. Uh, but what were you saying? Are we completely off track at this point? I think we're completely we're off gone? track. We're gone? All right, we're gone. Point. Yeah, all right, fine. <laughs> Bit ruined. It's okay. Um, no, weird advertising, ostriches, cherry coke. Yeah, yeah. Right. And then, like, the, yeah, it didn't have anything to do with it, but uh-huh. it was just wild, a wild scene, you know? Yeah, they realized at a certain point that they can just, if you, you're going to remember it, if you don't understand what you're looking at, right? I, I think that also culminated with um, fucking um, Terry Crews. Yeah. Right? Okay. Like, the, the, the Old Spice stuff. And then the internet just took that and yeah. made it, like, all those, like... Random. Woo! So there's a particular type of ad, and it, it doesn't show up everywhere because a lot of the ads on the internet now are Google ad space, right? So not that, but there's a type of ad that'll show up on, like, the bottom of a website for a really shitty newspaper, like a tabloid website, right? Okay. The bottom of, like, the National Enquirer or some shit. And you'll scroll down, and it'll be, like, a bunch of pictures. And some of them will look like something gross. But then on closer inspection, it's actually fine. Like, it'll be, like, a really zoomed-in, like, old man's wrinkles. But the color will be, like, highly contrasted. So you'll be like, oh, what's wrong? Oh, no, he's just, it's just weird color. Or it'll zoom in on, like, quinoa. Or, like, peanuts. And it'll be like, this one fucking weird trick, super healthy, you should eat these things. And you're like, is that just a pile of shit? And it's like, no, actually, it's just peanuts, but we've zoomed in and made it weird, right? And then it'll be like five or six little things like those. And they're fucking awful, but they realize that, like, it's it's all to make you go, ah, woo, what? Huh? What is that, right? Um, In some that's cases, cheating. it's literally just like a person with too many eyes. Yeah, okay, that's weird. You know? And, it, and then the picture will be, and then the thing will be like, why are you showing me a picture of a woman with six eyes? And it's like, oh, if your vision is bad, this is might be what you see. Some bullshit nonsense. Okay, it's yeah. just, you know, but that that's it. That's it. Yeah. Um, it's, it's fucking awful. I hate it. And it gets people's attention because you're, you're like shocked into stopping, you know, but ad tech has to figure out where to go. Anyway, with that, I guess it's safe to say that team Reddit has won 2023. Congratulations. The winner is you. What did we learn? Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Actually, we did learn something. That uh, your work is an affront to life itself. (laughs) There you go. Uh, All right. Let's just preemptively put that title down. Obviously, this slop is an affront to life itself. (laughs) There's, it's the only place for us to go. Not for the future. And Uh, Reddit, congratulations. Yep. I'm not sure if uh, I would be proud to be like, yeah, team Reddit, like in public, but you did it. Would you rather be? Team fucking Twitter? Not at all. <laughs> team X? <laughs> uh, yeah, didn't think so. There's good and bad people on both sides. Oh, boy. <laughs> all right. Well, hey. 
Um, consolation prize. Let's go back and see what they sent in anyways. Mm-hmm. All right. Everybody gets 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 in just a little bit. Uh, there we are. All right. Let's see if we can. Uh, we got some time. Choreographed Tekken is way too sick from Chizun. What the? You do that? It's crazy. Okay, hold on. The quality is bad. The volume is low. Uh, let me try to fix both of those. And while I do, uh, I'm also going to bring up that. Did you see the um, side by side comparison of like in game versus trailer Tech N8 footage? Where it turns out that like uh, the effects and rain and stuff we saw in that reveal trailer was way fancier than the actual in game. Okay, I could believe it. Yeah, the 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 trailer was a little bit deceptive, Harada. It, uh, it made things look a whole lot cooler. Why are you on four eighty? Jesus Christ! Let's fix that. All right, volume up. Quality fixed. Let's try that again. Hello, Susie. Hey! Welcome. What's up? Yeah, it is a nice shirt. Yeah! Cool little piece of merch you got going on there, Suze. Yeah, I mean, choreographed fighting games is always dope. Because it's, it's fucking anime fight simulator, right? That's cute. Man, that electricity sound in Tekken games. Yeah. Did it's you not see, just a zap. Did you see Kuma doing three electrics on Panda because she wouldn't marry him? <laughs> no, I haven't. It was wild. I mean, deserved. Panda, marry me. Parries the fish out of his hand. Fuck you. Doria! 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 Good thing I didn't get electric. Oh. All right. My only my that's cool. My only thing is I want to see that done with uh either Steve or the Capoeiristas because choreographed capoeira is super cool and would look way way more slick. If you could make like narrow dodges while like cartwheels are occurring, that would be a way cool more cool words fail. Oh, well, that was a good way to get people in. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. Um, Big Eddie. Nice. I feel it's like true. Eddie I isn't an eight. I feel like Jin and, and Kazuya are kind of, unfortunately, the more on the, the eh, a little more, you know, white bread side of things. <laughs> so. You're Ryu and Ken. You're sick of them. No, it's just, it's, there's cooler moves coming out of the, <laughs> the you know, the other cast. I like me a Doria, though. Explaining a board game. Oh, it's uh, the guys from... Um, oh, what's the name? Is it Critical Role? No, it's... Oh, they had a TV show on Netflix and the name is escaping me. Make your brain get it. Auntie Donna. Oh. Thank you, folks. Don't know it. So the game is set in uh, London um, after the Blitz and we need to exchange steel and wood for more wood but you can't get uh, any wood unless you have the magical feather in which case you do that in reverse but if the Sword of Cthulhu door is out that negates the effects of the wood. What? You get the wood you win the game. I'm just uh, going to say this is probably going to be too complicated. I have to go in half an hour. Bro then please. I'm just going to restart. Because the way the dice is, I'm the dice master. So, have you seen Back to the Future? Oh, Who's wow. the dice master, me or you? <laughs> no, you are. We are paper boys. The feather and the sword come into play in round four. There is no winner because it's about teamwork where all of us work oh, together oh, to God. eventually beat the winner. It's hitting a little too close. <laughs> yeah, you had a good experience, right? <laughs> I did. <laughs> there was a game that started out I was playing some board games last night, 
and there was a game that was like, oh, that sounds simple and fun. It's cool. And it started out way more complicated than I thought. And it took a while to get the hang of it. But then when we got the hang of it, it was fine. Oh, cool. yeah, and it was fun. And by the end of it, it was cool. That's why you need a trial run. But the onboarding process oh. was absolutely me just going, okay, wait. So then these tokens and these boards and then the shop opens up and then you place okay wait then the dragons get placed in the shops and then we you could exchange the currency for the rare one it was it was it was a lot it was a lot it was it was a lot but then it ha and then but then it was fun it was totally fine but i'm just i'm feeling i'm feeling the onboarding process right here a little bit yeah who determines who the losers are? So it's work as a team? No, because out of the f top four players, <laughs> right? It's There's with, three of us. Yeah, it's better with eight people. If you're the fascist, keep that card to yourself and don't <laughs> tell anybody. <laughs> uh, if I'm the fascist, does that mean that I roll next? Are you asking that because you're the fascist? Yes, I start am. Start again. Start again. <laughs> we go back to the start of the oh game's God. story in the past. I'm gonna get out of here. Right after the blitz. <laughs> your turn, big boy. Can we just play the <laughs> Table Lords intro? <laughs> so you can either roll, trade, attack, or bizarro world it. Attack. No, 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 no. So you wanna see how the dog lands on the side, and then you wanna. Yeah. So I've changed the value of one wood. They have like five games on the, on the table at the same time. <laughs> wood, you must have a wood. What would you like to do? I'll use wood. Wood? Do you think these are just chips? Yeah, I thought they were chips. No, no. These are potato tokens. You're difficult to be around. <laughs> Thunderstruck was written by <laughs> which band? AC, DC. Eh, wrong, can't say the band name. Switch seats. Switch seats. <laughs> Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, there's progress. That looks like the face of progress. Football garden. <laughs> Did he hit a calculator? Okay, the card says one P one zero. Okay, so I've only got this donkey OD card. The P means what, Reggie? <laughs> what? Zach wins. He played the donkey OD card. Why have I been collecting wood? Oh, you collect wood to win the game. Yeah, why, why does he get one card and he wins then? Because if you play the donkey OD card, you win the game. I've got f f wood everywhere. Yeah, and you need the wood to win the this game. This is bullshit, Mark. Want to play again? I do. It's, a it's fun, fun isn't it? Once it's... I realize. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once I figured out how it works. Once I figured out how the game worked, I was like, oh, okay, cool, right? <laughs> You know, it was a little over the halfway mark, and I got it. But it was it was a rough on board. That seems like a normal experience for any board game. I, I also think there's there's accounting for like how familiar with board games you are in general. Do you play them a lot? You can grasp a lot of the minute the minor rules and you know kind of roll through it and have no issues. So that that makes a lot of sense too, for sure. But that's that's yeah yeah that's a I get it. And that this though is also why like. Part of the Table Lords process was me sitting there on Sunday, just oh yeah, alone, <sighs> trying to become a DM overnight. Because if you have questions, which are very valid, valid. real questions, I got to be able to answer them. Mm -hmm. Who else is? You know. So every time we did something, I was like, I gotta know. So let me just run through this and then run through it and run through it. Going and... through the forest on your own. Exactly. You know, and, and in most cases it's fine, but that's also why the more complex things are just really hard to run, you know, and, and sometimes it's like, oh, but the concept is so good and that's cool, but now I got to read about you teaching me why I need to, how to teach my children about language. <laughs> now I, now I got to catch a lecture about, about how you feel about the world and I'm just... Like, your concept is cool, but holy shit, guys. <laughs> I'm lucky. I'm really lucky. I've never uh, lost friendships over games. <laughs> I've had friends who stopped talking after a, for a long time after a game of Diplomacy, I think. Diplomacy. Diplomacy. Okay. And they were playing, I think, online, where, like, they would have to do their turns, and you have to, like, log in or send emails to each other and then decide the next turn. And at some point, they all meet up for a party, and they start talking about it, and it just went crazy. And I don't know what they're talking about. They're like, no, you need to take this country, because then this one is going to win. But you can't tell them that. And just like, okay, all right, 
all right, I don't think I'm going to play Diplomacy before I die. Because if that's, that's the case, like Diplomacy, Risk, Monopoly, there are some games it's just like, nah, don't, don't even bother. Don't even bother. <laughs> um, I told you about Jamaican Christmas the other day. Yes, you did. So... <laughs> Again, th there's a whole lot of that that comes to mind. Um, yeah, it was simply a game of fucking uh, taboo, taboo, and um, Steve Harvey. We played a game of Steve Harvey. Family Feud. Steve Harvey. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> that's all it took. And uh, yeah, you know. And, and before we knew it, shit got violent. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> um, anyway. Look, man. Too bad. I like Taboo. How can it go wrong in Taboo? Anyway. We survived Dokapon. Yeah, that's fair. We can survive anything. Yeah. <laughs> I was try I was quickly, quickly scrolling because I was like, I hope I have the intro queued up, but I don't. Unfortunately, I cleared some space. But we got some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to just cut to it. Uh, but yeah, yeah. We survived Okapon. We can survive anything. Just introduce the knife onto the table and leave it equidistant from everybody. Mm -hmm. Are you reaching for it? <laughs> Are you? Uh... All right. That's a funny sketch show, by the way. Auntie Donna? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, as a, it's a Netflix one. Yeah, cool. I think uh, I think they were popular before Netflix, and then they got a season. I don't think they got renewed for a second season, but it was a good one. Yeah. I was working my way through. Um, I think you should leave. Mm, I heard good things about that. that I, was, think that I watched was the first episode. Fucking of that. great! That was fucking great. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. What is this? Oh, the floor just cracked. I believe I might fall. Don't let us any of your business. Vertical fuck plug. You vertical plug. Fuck off. And leave me to my lotions. Up oh, the floor just cracked. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I see the humor. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's. I'm not laughing at the thing. I'm laughing at the concept of the thing. Yeah. And how you analy analyze it. Like, yeah. Hmm, I mean, there is humor in there. I don't know the source, so I, I don't know if this was staged or not. But either way, that was a good, good bit. Um, feels feels like a, a, a set moment. Um, reminds me of. Uh, this is Democracy Manifest. I see. <laughs> you know the, the fucking what does he say are you handling my penis sir release my penis at once or whatever the fuck <laughs> I was enjoying a succulent Chinese meal <laughs> yeah 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 there you go you know you, I don't have to pull it up right no, we don't that's we're fine, doing... that's fine. That's... All right. Jojo GGPO that I like those I like those letters by Hard Edge or No Ah McCundwyant Fight No 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 Uda. I hope I get a double time stop. Let's see if we can get line nine bars. There's no patch up on the screen, so we're already saner than we need to be. Uh huh. Starfinger. The most busted move in lore. Oh, they. I never noticed they used the pushback at block animation from Marvel 1. Oh, okay, yeah. That's the exact push block sprite. So, get back up. Okay. I do sometimes 
maybe once a year, look at all the the one from Dio in anime. Just the anime versions. The other, yeah. Oh, so fuck yeah! I mean, few things will ever be as hype as the actual end of the world intro, right? Like the full fucking like the nine second count. Come on. Yeah, I I kind of. I kind of screamed when it happened. I, if you didn't, you don't have a soul. <laughs> the biggest pop-off for the most popular part, you're like, how are you going to do this justice? And they did it beyond justice. It was incredible. All right. I are see we, they have a lot of money yeah. right now. Are we just watching replays of uh, fucking Heritage? I expect that the finish is going to be great. I expect so, too. I expect this is not just some, someone going, yo, check my replays. Nice! Road Roller! Without the reeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Let's see it. Uh... Set to take place at a tournament called SoCal Regionals. Let's go, this was Eduardo. A five team battle featuring some of the best talent. Damn, this is a long time ago. Team NorCal versus. This is a very long time ago. <laughs> the match that set the stage was one of the best Rose players representing SoCal versus one of the best players in the world. At Everyone the time. looks so different. <laughs> Oh, uh, enter the time machine for the entire event and not only giving their team the score advantage, but the very much needed momentum. <laughs> it was a hard fought battle, but NorCal's Ricky Ortiz ended up edging out the first Damn. set. Hey, oh, Damn. So cheap. Ortiz not scared to Rufus, do. man. Kick, and he takes it. That was just the start. Rose was pretty so scary, too. Go down a quick 2-0, losing one of their strongest players, a Ken player named Chris T. And El Cubano Loco is going to eke it Tatarian. out over NGL. This not only gave Doing FGC Bible momentum, studies, I think. eventually lead into SoCal losing their third yeah. player. Man, okay. Vibe in the crowd back in these yeah, days. Yeah, man. At this point was feeling the heat. But losing their fourth God. player. God. Kino. Kino. Put them on SoCal point, Regionals. I lost to Kino sure in, in losers world. finals in my pool. In four? In four. In four. What event? Uh, Evo 2013, I think. Daryl oh Snake my Eyes god Lewis, Mr. the year after the caesar's himself. palace the cold car command grab king the anchor for team socal wasn't having any of it first match versus lpn a mm -hmm. player a tough matchup for geek oh wearing the shadow loo gear damn i remember that shit not quite there not quite there we're gonna get hey. wow the snake guys gets one on the board this used to be <laughs> This used to Going be right it, man. The next match, a nail biter versus EG's very own PR Balrog. Yeah, that's doable. Such a tense moment coming up. Oh, oh. Got it. Snake Eyes not only clutches it out. He never needed green soul. hands. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look what they took from him. Look what they took. This next matchup will prove to be a test versus one of Zangief's hardest. Yeah, that's pretty hard. Versus one of the best. Crushing heavy punch with Rufus. And unbelievably, uh, okay. Uh, no way. Hold on now. Oh, oh, I mean, she did it three times in a row. That, like, like Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. The midst of one of the Sit down, Captain. Ever been graced with no one's talking to you. <laughs> Now only get away from reverse 5 owing some of the strongest players Street Fighter has to offer, the venue exploded with hype. And hype there's K Brad. <laughs> Snake Eyes has Snake Eyes is built show. different. I have to have the knuckle yeah, 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 knuckle Brad, they're all there. Everyone. All the warriors. It went down to the final round. A clean sweep for NorCal, but no! Snake Eyes has fought all the way back. He sees the Yo, do you know how much money is being held up at this point? <laughs> <laughs> Side bets? NorCal versus SoCal. Oh, and this is a huge momentum start for Snake Eyes. He baits out EX head uh, beautiful stuff and a trade uh -oh. with the Lariat. And uh -oh. he's got to be close to Dizzy. Safe Back jump. Where is it? Get off me. Get off me. The man staves him off. He's still alive. Ooh! Oh, look how fast oh, walk speed guys. was there. Getting close. Man. Getting close here. Getting oh. close. Bruh. Not quite. It's going to be a little Patience. bit longer if it's going to happen. Patience. Everything on his and shoulders. He's got the meter now. He can combo in the <laughs> super. No, no, super. Uh huh. All of it. All of it. <gasps> Just do it. I was afraid. Just do it. I can't believe you walked up. I got grabbed. I can't believe you walked up. Yep. Wake up, SPD. I would. I would not have gone in. Oh, you got grabbed. I'm, I'm across the stage. Yeah. Life on the line. We all got grabs. Back against the wall. Snake Eyes ended up winning. Just thought I'd share this video with you guys. This was, that was yeah, that was a good one. You. That Thank was a good one. Watching. I mean, I, I think as well though. Like, there's some energy to like when it's your boy, when it's your crew, when it's your moment. Mm, that's something. It's extra special, right? This feels a lot like that because for me, I'm like, that's cool. But do you remember the fucking? JS Master reverse OCV against Team Japan at Canada Cup.
No. Well, if you were fucking Canada, you did, right? Yeah. That was such a high. So it's like when it's your when it's your crew and your people doing it, you'll remember. You it. remember that shit. Mm-hmm. Cause uh, yeah, I don't know if there's as succinct a uh, a summary video and and the, it, but it was essentially uh, uh, JS Master from STC in Toronto, the the our, our friendly rivals, uh, taken on uh, yeah Team Japan, and it was I just remember at the end of that he was rocking Rog and like everyone was going to PR Rog going like, yo, who the fuck is this kid? And he's like, stop asking me, watch him, follow him, go. Don't ask me about this matchup, ask JS, you know? And it's because at the time, like Japan was especially like the mm-hmm. the extra intimidating factor. Um, who, do you remember who it was at the time? I think it was Tokido. Um, was it like Tokido Bonchan and like, Daigo? I forget the composition of the team. I yeah. feel I feel like it was Tokido Bonchan and maybe someone else. I forget who the third was, but either way, you know, and it was such a fucking pop. Yeah, man. Oof. Time machine. I miss those days. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I miss the Reagan years. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Clinton administration. <laughs> gaming during the Clinton years boy I don't but <laughs> catch me in a church but there's like there's good things about then and there's good things about now you know take it all with uh, with the good uh, Koei found a Botan infinite and then it was quickly patched lol Botan has an infinite block Koei coefficient <laughs> alright what do we got if I remember correctly, she was really sick and I liked her. Yeah. Ever since the helicopter. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. What the fuck? <laughs> Idol showdown, baby. That's true. The number keep going. Okay, well, hold on. Scaling, scaling kicks in. The, the number kept going. Scaling. Uh decay so if you don't know what hit stun decay is yeah. this is a perfect example of it think of it as like a bar and every time you hit a, a move it fills up that bar and once it gets full scaling. they flip out He's and the combo ends bro. so that bar is filling up until eventually it gets full and they drop out and the combo ends they that's recover faster and faster and faster decay. after Chat, after each hit noobs, that's 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 all it is, is an inf- degradation they're gonna be like what the hell is going on and they're not gonna be able to get out now if you are a viewer of coefficient if you're a viewer of this stream you know that that is not the case you can block oh yeah did you see her like infinite wait did they patch it ah you <laughs> sneaky they watched you on stream <laughs> They caught you on stream. Did I change? Yeah. <laughs> Hakito watching me play Ultra Kill. Fucking <laughs> patch. <laughs> Stealth. Live patch. That's hilarious. <laughs> the hot fix is in. Uh... So how fast did the patch come? Like right away? Live. That's great. Like, oh shit, fuck it. Ah. <laughs> That's crazy. Blow you up immediately while you're live. That's really funny. <laughs> like looking at it like, what's it doing? Um, this might be a little, uh, this might be getting wildly inside baseball, but like, do you have a preferred, f- uh, form of proration and or hit stun degradation or damage reduction? <laughs> We're get- it's really inside. I know. I know. That's a freaking question there. Yeah. There's a couple different ones and they have their pluses and minuses. I think I thought personas was good until Naoto came along and made it so that you can just do proration loops. But uh, I, I uh, fast forward the complicated to just okay, say, okay, okay. I think um, Skullgirls I is thought, really good. That's what I was going to say. I thought Skullgirls was an interesting take where you could like do whatever you want. But as soon as you repeat a combo part, it will activate the infinite prevention system. Yeah. Skullgirls gives you a free burst that your character gets as soon as someone starts doing an infinite to you. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, never mind all the complicated big bumbo jumbo words. But... Uh, there's a hard way. It's it's very difficult to find a fair way to make infinites not possible in fighting games, right? You can either make it so that 
it does it always works but it just does no damage so you can do the infinite and you just stall for time forever but if there if you win if you have a life lead and you just do a combo forever that still sucks you know so then it's like oh what if we made it so that the character always drops out faster and faster and faster that usually works but sometimes it like makes combo like variety stale it makes it hard to do anything really stylish and you take away some of the fun mm -hmm. um one of the things you can do is you can say well let's just make it so that they drop to the ground faster and faster but what's the problem with that reggie isn't there a basketball <laughs> <laughs> so the in fist of the north star <laughs> when you drop to the ground faster and faster after each hit eventually it since it's a variable it it's a num it, it inverts itself so you start bouncing higher instead of dropping faster creating reversed gravity combos that actually make the game go even harder and more insane right that so was an oversight right they programmed it badly and as a result you you start with what's supposed to be i touch you and you fall to the ground immediately results in i touch you and you bounce back off the ground and you start playing basketball with everybody mm -hmm. so yeah there's all kinds of wild systems that work and don't work but uh Skullgirls, I think, figured it out where it was just like, okay, you can still do the combo. It'll still do a little bit of damage. It'll still continue to work, but the character just starts flashing and then they'll just, you'll be able to touch the button mm -hmm. to just be like, hey, get off me. You know, and, and it has a very, the algorithm that figures out like how many buttons you did in a row is really complicated too. Because like, what is an infinite? Is it one button over and over? Is it two buttons over and over? Is it six buttons over and over? What if it's a sequence of 10? And then you start over again, right? So it's it's like, and this thing accounts for like, it doesn't matter how long you go, as long as it recognizes a pattern has started occurring, yeah. it'll eventually start working. It's really cool. It's it's smart stuff. If you're into programming, it's a fun challenge to try and solve. Uh, yeah. Learn to count frames. Sakurai. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, not that one. There we go. Yeah, Sakurai's got a great channel for teaching you about stuff. Video game design. Masa-chan! Are you that close, huh? I didn't say kun. What a god. <laughs> What a god! <laughs> it's got a good rhythm. Incredible! To the frame? Yeah, that's too fast. This motherfucker is frame perfect. That's crazy. Is he just flexing his ability to fucking clap on frame on rhythm? He's got he's got the internal second on deck. In the metronome? How how good is your internal second? In my internal metronome? You know? I don't know. Um, you know what it is? It's I'll tell you right now because I've never tested it. Oh, it's it's wooly. It's garbage. <laughs> then let me practice and come back to me tomorrow. Okay. And then come back to me the day after. And then it might get somewhere resembling decent. I see. If I try it. But if I've never done it before, it's probably trash. So, like, let's say you have a timer. Mm -hmm. And you have to start it and stop it at 10 seconds. But you get no nothing. You mm -hmm. push it. And you push it after 10 seconds. Okay. Do you think it would be accurate? Or you would be way Ooh. off? I mean, I think... Because I... I think that's that's a thing where, like... Everyone should know what a second feels like. It's yeah. close to music. Well, know? I play drums and you have to get somewhat decent at it. Yeah. But I'm sure I didn't play drums long enough that like if I was a part of a band, the band wouldn't look and go, oh, fucking drummers. You know, like they'd be like, God damn it. Why do they always speed up? This is why we get a drum machine. Yeah. You know, drummers can't fucking keep time. I'm sure I'd be one of those. I see. You know, yeah. you want to test it? Okay. You're going to take out a calculator. A calculator? Uh, rather count timer. Okay. Stopwatch. Um, All right. So I'm going to hit start. Stopwatch. Uh, I'm going to hit start. And from the mo actually you hit start and then you tell me when you think 10 seconds passes. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Like I, I would like push it and then count 10 seconds, not look at the screen and push it again. Without looking at the screen. Yeah. Okay. I see what you mean. All right. Okay. Let's try it. Okay. 
Can we? Uh, yeah, well, not simultaneously. Okay, let's just do it on your own. Just do it on your own. Yeah. Ten twenty-eight. Ooh, I thought that was eleven. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. Uh. How accurate are steamboats? <laughs> <laughs> Mississippi. Mississippi's. I don't like Mississippi. Mi- Mississippi's are too long. <coughs> I think steamboats are a little bit better, but it's steamboat and then a little bit of time, right? Okay, let's see. Uh, let me. Where where'd my finger be? My finger. Okay, I'll I'll put it here. Nine point seven four. So you are two hundredths of a second closer to ten than I was on this run. You got what? I got twenty-eight or something. Ten twenty-eight. Twenty-five twenty-eight. You had twenty-one twenty six yeah. What's and you're at seventy four, so it's twenty five. Closer to seventy five. Okay, so yeah. Uh so twenty six off versus twenty eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I was too early. You were too early. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Hi, Sigi. Oh, yeah. That's, a, that's a, a good test, you know? Interesting. That is a pretty good test. Yeah. And, and, and the more complicated the drum rhythm, like, the more you fuck that up because the automated process that you have is going to fail you. Because, mm-hmm. like, when you have to do something like, well, let's, let's say you're hitting a hi hat, right? And you have this on an automated loop. Now your brain is only focusing on your your snare and your tom or your snare and your 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 um your bass. Okay. And like this is just like if you're doing a um let's say you're doing yeah, you're doing a hi hat and then you're like closing it and reopening it, right? That your brain starts doing it and then stops thinking about it. It becomes an automatic process and you're only focused on these two. But like this twitch, if that doesn't get perfectly methodical, you're gonna fuck up you're losing everything. ram in there and exactly then, like, and the next time you come like like the next time you come back around or if the time signature is different or so you're gonna sound awful and everyone's gonna be like what the fuck is he doing you know yeah. it's embarrassing yeah. but uh yeah that's pretty impressive 9.56 ah catch up 10.07 damn okay okay was it your first try though you know because I'm, I'm sure these guys are, uh, yeah oh i got it i got and it you know what i would also say space bar with is like an easier confirm than like the blind screen tap yeah 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 tactile also, versus yeah. not tactile yeah but uh either way fair enough you got eight <laughs> seconds <laughs> ggs exactly don't be afraid of frame data. So two taps, 30 frames. Three taps, 20 frames. Four taps, 15 frames. But will this help me do a one frame link? It will get you closer to the truth. <laughs> Can you do crouching light kick, crouching light kick, crouching light kick? Fucking Blanca Ultra? It's hard. Because I had a period of time where I could do it. It lasted about two weeks. <laughs> oh, that sucks so much. I swear to God. When, when you trade something that's kind of hard and you're like, yo, I got it now. I wrapped it. I got it. I brought it to fucking Funzo where we had our meetups. I brought it to fucking Tatsumaki Tuesdays. And I had two weeks of consistent light kick, light kick, light kick, kick ultra. ultra. And I was a like, god. Yeah. Feels really good. And then never again. Never again. Never again. Never again. When I was practicing third strike, and I was like, oh, what's the deal with uh, the Makoto stun combo 100%? <sighs> oh, shit, I got it. Wooly, I can teach it to you. I'm going to teach it to you one day. I go back home, never got it again. <laughs> never. I never did it again. I'm like, you know, this is crazy. Never mind. But that's the thing, right? There's a point where you're like, even if you do get it again, you're like, how am I going to do this with an ounce of tension in the fight? Exactly. When it counts. This is not practical. Throw it out. <laughs> I am not Sacco. This is stupid. <laughs> I can do... Uh, sitting at home in the most relaxed conditions, mm-hmm. I'm struggling to do In this. your boxers, 
You know, just now, now pull it off on stage while everyone's yelling at me. So Fuck. you got to get comfortable like, out at of home. Here. You know, you got to get, get your boxes out on stage. Reproduce their home environment. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, like whenever I watch a combo video the, and I, I go, baby, basically, I'm like, OK, I do. I figure out my own combos for like the, my bread and butter and shit. And then I go learn about what other people can do. And I learn about the tech. And then I'll see oftentimes like not the last combo because fuck that thing. But like the second to last combo or the third to last combo. Somewhere around those two, I'll be like that. I'll go for that. Is it size dependent? No, let's do that. But let me switch up the hardest part of it for an easier for part, an consistent. easier confirm. Yeah, absolutely. You're right. I, I, in Persona, I did the, I did that with, in multiple fighting games. I'm like, let's go to the second to last combo and change the hardest part of it to an easy confirm, and that's my bread and butter. <laughs> Every time. That's my skill level. It's interesting that he's actually teaching people about this stuff. Eight is the fastest. Preparing people for the next game. Yeah. Dude, it's so wild to go from a game where it's like... Eight frames is the fastest to like. Chun Li's got a two frame what? Yeah. You know? Super, super. Okay, let's go. Some things are faster than others. まあ、I wonder if he's musically trained. Because that's a skill. Yeah, my, I guess my music training definitely like, got involved in there. It's Fuck is like, I don't look at numbers, I just play by feel, man. Hey, thank you, Sakurai san. Cool. Yeah. That's uh that's useful. Yeah, man. There's shit where um and you know what too? I'll make sometimes I'm just thinking about how like I will make decisions based on how I'm feeling in that second. Uh, okay, so perfect example, right? With Marissa, there are times when, and like, and, and let's be real, there are situations too where you're like, if you can just mash that and it works every time and it does decent enough damage, then fuck it, I'll just mash, right? But there's a per there's a situation where if you are close to the wall, right, you can actually there's certain markers on the stage you can use to know if you're within like splat distance or not right. in Street Fighter Six. You can land with Marissa a um, like a, a heavy knee, right? Like charged heavy kick, uh, forward heavy kick into her Sparta kick, like the OD version off the wall. And then you can do back heavy punch into Gladius. Now, for some reason, if you mash back heavy punch, it never connects. It just doesn't. The timing of the rhythm of when you start to act again doesn't like it if you're mashing that. Okay. But if you wait a split second, about two frames maybe, I don't know what it is, but there's a split hesitation, it does work. But if you wait too long, it misses again. So there's a sweet spot window off, off the wall splat uh, um, Sparta kick into back heavy punch where like it's it's the best damage you can get is to, is, is to do your heavy punch, but it, it doesn't fucking work, right? So... Like, if I'm feeling calm and it's a moment where I'm like, yeah, okay, it's fine. It's not to, 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 to decide the round, I'll go for it. But if it's to decide the round, I notice that if you do a crouching, mashing, a medium punch instead, that works 100% okay. of the time. But you sacrifice a little bit of damage. Yeah. Not a ton, but a little bit. But if you want that bit. But if you want the maximum, then you, that you go for it. So I will do it and Sparta kick automatically and then my brain will just go how am i feeling right now <laughs> am i calm or am i agitated am i feeling it 
Yeah. I'm agitated. Go for the easy one. Right. Right. Or I'm chill. Go for that one. And I make that split the second split second decision each time. It's it it it's weird, but it's like I know myself in to know when I'm gonna drop things, and I'm like, yeah, don't go for the fancy one right now. You're way too. You know, my heartbeat's way, is too involved. I'm not <laughs> I'm not relaxed. You know, I can I can have a little a little moment. It's quite interesting, um, but that's ultimately scrub talk. you I know Reggie's answer here is like, yo, just fucking do it. <laughs> do the optimal be good at it what, what the fuck sometimes sometimes yeah. you're the best <laughs> sometimes silent disapproval but I understand sometimes like you're, you're not sure and you're not you're, you're shook you know so you do what's consistent yeah but I've Reliable. also seen you go for the long fancy combo when the short one would have won the round Absolutely. <laughs> Why do big long combo when short one do trick? Yeah. No, I, I like to push buttons. Sometimes I'm like, sometimes I drop the combo because I could kill, but I'm like, ah, I want to do something different. What am I going to do? And I have too many possibilities and I drop the combo because of that. That's funny. You know how people love pressing buttons? Yeah. I hate pressing buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me press buttons. I hate it. Like all the times I could do level three, but I'm like, no, I'm gonna do level two into some bullshit into level one and <laughs> or keep it for later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. I need to do what I need to kill you and not drop it. Because the worst part is when you go for the fancier one and missing it doesn't mean the combo drops and we're back to neutral or like, um, oh, you just did suboptimal damage. It means you fucking die because you did a big dumb move and now they're blocking it. And now you're going to just melt. You did a super and it didn't land. You didn't land at the end of the combo. Mm -hmm. So now your character is like, Aah! and then you just die. Right? <laughs> Not yeah. worth it. I, I I don't know if you remember. At some point there was like a, I think a. What are you standing up for? No, 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 not even. There was a Street Fighter 4 tournament back Sagat? in the QA days. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay. And um, I think we fought in uh, in finals. You versus me? You versus me, and you won that one. But there was a set I was playing with someone, and one of my friends, she was watching. So you know how you do ultra? It's a set animation, and things happen, right? Mm -hmm. But I do the ultra, and I do... While the ultra is playing. <laughs> and they're like, wow, you're so good! <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm all right, you know? <laughs> You fucking loser! <laughs> what a jerk! Oh my you gotta god! Gotta make it look good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Cammy's just doing all her shit in the ultra, and I'm just like, T -t 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 bang, KO. Okay. All, all right, right all listen, right. listen, listen. There was a time. We, we go back in time, okay? <laughs> the first time you and some friends are playing the King of Fighters. Mm -hmm. And you do Kim Kapwan or Ryo or Iori's Super. And it does the big long combo. Yeah. And lots of moves are happening. And they don't know how the game <laughs> they works. They don't know how <laughs> They're going to think you're a god. <laughs> if you actually act like you did all of that, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> you, got, you have to immediately go, no, no, no. <laughs> That's automatic. Yeah, that's all can. That's a can animation. It's <laughs> just a cool sequence. If you fucking gaslight your friends, you're a goddamn piece of shit. Stolen valor. Always push the buttons. Right? Push Fuck that. Buttons. You tell them right away. You tell them right away. And you know why? Because when you then play Rock Howard and you do Deadly Rave Neo, which is yep. a big, long cinematic super, mm -hmm. but you have to do you it manually. Do it That's hype. Then you go, yeah, I did it. <laughs> I did that. You get to tell them afterwards, that was manual. <laughs> one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> right? When you pick fucking Holy Order Soul, and you do the full Tyrant Rave uh -huh. into the kill manually, you get to flex that shit. <laughs> Stolen Valor. I looked good, okay? God damn it. God. Oh, wow. You're making you're like fucking movies happening. Yeah, baby. Literally, yeah. Yeah, little brother right. playing with the controller not plugged in. Yeah, that's right. 
<laughs> what a liar. What a yeah, fucking bro, I, liar. I played this, this game once or twice, you know. <laughs> what a piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck this kid. Yeah. <laughs> what a scumbag, am I right? <sighs> Oh. I'm done Twitch acting with you bitches. Dota do ya. Cannonless? Alright, I'll do Cannonless. And for those that don't know, Cannonless is a little strat that goes like this. Oh! What? <laughs> I'm done Twitch acting with you bitches! I'm so sick of acting like I'm not a fucking speedrunner! I'm so sick of acting like I'm not the fucking champion! Let's fucking go! That was fucking sick! I mean, that was pretty fucking sick. That was pretty fucking sick. You yeah. get, yeah. You get your pop off. Talk your shit, King. <laughs> you drop this. Here's your crowd. <laughs> what do you want me to say? I mean, look, Mario 64 in particular has is probably the game that has been the most, the most speed ran, the most ground into the dirt, like the yeah. level. How deep are we? How deep is your love? How deep is your love? I really need to know. Cause we're living in a world of fools. Breaking us down. Oh shit. Bangers. Bangers. Question. Were you playing the original in your head? Or the NSYNC acapella? <laughs> was it? Was it? Was it just me? <laughs> the what now? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> there's a there's um there's an NSYNC BG's a cappella track where they cover a bunch of the track the songs a cappella all in one after the other. And they're very good at it. It's very, it's a, they, they harmonize quite well. And I remember that being like, well, that's a pretty good medley. Good I job, guess I'll guys. go do my homework after the stream and go listen to I, it. It's, you know. Cause why not? You know? Like, yeah. It's pretty smooth. I'm like, I'm not like, I'm no shit. It's just, I back. That was one of the first things back in the day where I was like, huh? No shit. Right? You know that, like, little, um... Them white boys can sing. Yeah, it's that little, it's that little, you know, like, T-Pain with the, with the, the auto-tune off moment? Yeah. It's a little bit of that, you know? It's he like, oh! Yeah. Look at you! You know, they start with, uh... Jive talking, you're telling me lies, yeah. <laughs> it's really good! <laughs> and then they get into the fucking, like... Ba dum bam 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 ba dum bam 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 b
boom ba boo ba boom ba Yeah, of course it would be but catchy. You can't tell, but it's really nice. All right. Okay. It's pretty sick. I'll go check it out. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. But you know. Yeah. Shout out to the <laughs> shout out to the original too. Uh Can you tell it was during a time when a cappella church singing was a highly valued skill amongst me and my peers? Oh, I see. When when you were looking for that. When you had to go to church and bust out your smoothest sounding, you know, sing for Jesus. Quartet. Mm -hmm. Right? Can you come in baritone? Are you going to be tenor? Are you going to be alto? Right? What are you going to do? Barbershop style. Barbershop style. Mm. The B sharps. But not quite. <sighs> All right. Shit, bro. I'm finna go to sleep. Oh, I know what this is. Yeah. I'm about to go to sleep. Do 前面加一句,谢不然。然后再说这句话,试试看好不好,来,三二一。谢不然,I'm so the quality of that makes it seem as if it's from a billion years ago. But obviously it couldn't possibly be. Right? I don't know how old it is. I have no idea. That's, that is wild. <laughs> but also as happened like like there are these moments that occur and oftentimes i realize it's like do i have to ex i'm like am i explain like for example that would probably be new information to like pat for example like mm -hmm. like the concept of finna mm -hmm. is like what like what what are you what are you talking about and that's how i know a bunch of them as well probably are like i don't even What's the original thing you're mm -hmm. referencing? What's the math here? What, you know? So, so. Can you factorize this and uh, construct the, the lingo here? Uh, yeah, all right. Yeah. Tr Finna, Trina, and Bauta. These are, these are the, the conjugations, <laughs> right? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. I remember specifically. Oh, my God. God damn it. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. What are you thinking about? I remember specifically w the first time I heard Fidna, right? As, as the abbreviation of fixing to, right? I am fixing to do something. I, I remember it. It was someone telling a story uh, in... 2000 and maybe two. Oh shit okay or three latest because this is a this was i because the person was telling a story and this was back from old fucking fgc uh, uh, uh um times and they were talking about how they went out to a concert and they were at they were at a show with their friend and like they were looking around and they saw like this one girl that would let like clearly look too young to be at the venue. Okay. And they were like, what the fuck? Right. And like, and it was, it was just, and she was like, yeah, just like try to, I guess like sneak in or use a fake idea or whatever. And one of the dudes in line while they were, they were talking about it and like other people were talking about it. And he said, what did he overheard? One of the dudes next to them specifically utter the phrase, man, I'm fitting to do an R Kelly. <laughs> and that was the sentence that was the intro that was the first time i heard that i was like what the fuck is that sentence <laughs> what does that even mean and, and and this was years ago and that's the that's the it, that's the first time i ever heard it is them describing this dude in line at a concert talking about 
some girl that was trying to get into the club. And I was like, okay, new word acquired. That's fucking wild. <laughs> you learned that day. They all learned. You don't forget that yeah. very specific mm -hmm. thing. Imagine if a school had that much of an impact on you. When there you go. Learn, learn stuff. There you go. Right? That was the context. And that's why I remembered that. Again, 20 years ago. Must have been. <laughs> The pull an R Fidden, I'm fitting to pull an R. Kelly. Yep. Yep, 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 yep That's yep. what it was. That's what that's what it is. <laughs> that's what it is. <sighs> and then yeah, everything else is just a, you know, a Becherel conjugation. <laughs> About to trying to I'm trying to try what you what you trying to do. These people had the best trail going there when they were learning. That girl. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look. The hand gestures and the pull are a little over the top. It it, it, it a more sincere reading would have probably slapped a little bit better. Mm -hmm. It would have hit a little bit harder. Yeah. But the the it, it does you know, like, it's like, you know, when it's like the ironic, yo, gangsta rap, like, white friend tries mm -hmm. to do that shit to make it sound like, like, like that tired ass thing. It, it's a, it's kind of that, you mm -hmm. know? So. Yeah. When people use yo as a noun. Conceptually. Look at this yo, yo. Or whatever the fuck. I'm Skylar White, yo. <laughs> <laughs> right. That, that shit that we're like like yeah we've been we've been here yes it's been the same joke for the last 20 years we know we get it you can you can mm -hmm. all right a little bit of that fair enough fair enough but on paper right <laughs> um i much prefer uh explaining okay boomer to japan as the contemporary mm. to this that's important because it was sincere yes which made it all that much more fun <laughs> As opposed to mugging for TikTok. You guys can feel the difference, right? You can feel the difference there. Yeah. Cut to Jackie, Jackie Chan in the bar in rush hour. What up, my? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Neighbor? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Why do I hear boss music? Oh, I mean, I this yeah, is everybody sees this, right? Uh, I don't know it. I haven't. Dan Danielle Shaharokin. Для тебя одно важное признание. В отличие от тебя трёхлетнего, я young chess genius. Играть в шахматы не умею. Yeah, of course you can't play, you dumbass. Has he grown up into someone strong? Is this a known person? Я приглашаю в эту студию. 12-го чемпиона мира по шахматам, международного гроссмейстера, заслуженного It. yeah <laughs> that's fantastic game. that's great that's so really good. he's actually like a really good of kid at chess, and he lost and he cried yeah for yeah 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 it wasn't him walking out surely <laughs> that's you know but still yeah, i respect the idea <laughs> damn kid you're amazing you know let's reward you by fucking smoking that ass <laughs> Oh shit! That's how you learn, baby. Damn, that's pretty good. <laughs> um, I was gonna say, like, uh, is this one of those things where, like, that kid is also is like now ten years later is like a fucking known genius? Oh, I think it's pretty recent-ish, but okay, I'm sure he's doing great for himself. Because you know? that happens from time to time. I remember I I saw like like years ago I saw this video of this little like fucking. It's like whatever, like six year old just killing it on the drums. And it's this, this little kid named Tony Royster Jr. Right. Okay. And he's like a baby holding drumsticks going crazy. And it's like, oh, fuck, you can do that. And it's like, yeah, it turns out kids are really good at drums because like the just the rhythm. Turns the, out if you believe in the potential of children, they can do shit. They can yes. do shit. Yeah. In particular, like 
like because like guitar chords are kind of rough for s small hands even if you get a small guitar some instruments are a bit thick but like drums where you're just hitting the things mm -hmm. you can there's yeah it, it lines up and he was doing an, a fucking incredible solo i remember and then like yeah i just just like check back on him like what's he doing like you know 10 15 years later and it's like oh you're just a drum god yeah right makes perfect sense checks out you know on that tool shit yeah. Um, kids are kids are powerful, man. Yeah, yeah. just all you have to do is uh, sacrifice their childhood for them to be the best golfer, or singer, or tennis player in the world. <laughs> I mean, that works. Just right? reach in, take the innocence out. But that's like force right? evolving a Pokemon. You know, it is. It's shoving a rare candy <laughs> down your child's throat. Make no mistake. They don't right? all need the rare candy. But do you want the results or don't you? Reggie, have you ever played Last Blade Two? Yes, a bit. Uh, do you remember? Do you remember uh, um, uh, Setsuna? He's the guy with the owl. Okay. When he does his special, right? It's this insanely cinematic moment where the screen goes black. He reaches into you. He pulls out the, your soul. He crushes it, and then he wipes the blood on a pane of glass, which then shatters into a million pieces, and we return to reality. As a parent, that's what you have to do to your child. <laughs> you reach in, you take all the fun things, all the moments of happiness, joy, yeah. and everything they would enjoy about being a kid, and you crush it, and you wipe it on the glass. That is success. Yeah, but then you dance so much better. <laughs> Dude, you moonwalk. You walk on the moon. Who's going to stop you? And then nothing ever goes wrong when those kids become adults. Cast away your childhood. Everything goes perfectly well. You walk on the moon. You're the best golfer. Everyone loves you. You make millions of dollars. Happy ending. Sounds like a dream. No problems whatsoever. Hard work. No? What about all these other weak children who are playing? While they're playing... You're studying the blade. That's right. Do you That's right. Do you want results or don't you? <laughs> Bas Rutin's Lethal Self-Defense. There is a name I haven't heard in a minute. Found Footage Fest. Hello and welcome to Bas Rutin's Lethal Street Fighting Self-Defense System. Let me tell you first that I've been around. I've been a bouncer for many, many years, and I've been <laughs> fighting in the ring, as you know. So I know my things. Now, I was standing like this and talking to the guy, and suddenly, boom, a headbutt. Bang, follow up with a headbutt. Boom, knee to the head. And looky, look what we got here. Oh, Smack his yep. Face. Environmental. Now, Absolutely. Right here. This is where they put the receipts on. That John Boom, Wick right shit. Elbow. So this is some bar jutsu? Maybe now the headbutt comes. Knee to the face. Oh. Elbow to the groin. Grab him. Punch lasers. I really don't want anything <laughs> of this. And punch lasers. Like this. Are you familiar with punch so, lasers, Reggie? It's over. In, in The Last of Us, every time you grab and hit somebody, there's a punch laser system that shoots out to the environment to see what the nearest wall table or collateral splat damage thing is and then it goes that the table and then it snaps them towards that to make it visceral you have to fight with punch lasers in mind I as see. you swing you're looking around mm -hmm. which corner can i use and out bang right elbow boom left straight kick to the head <laughs> boom bang the guy is really good though bang boom step his own knife here oh, in oh. the liver. Drop. His own oh. knife in the oh. liver. I'm sorry. Like Leonardo <laughs> in fucking Ninja Turtles. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. You got my blessing. Take him out. Hasta la vista. Baby. Baby. <laughs> I got that from Arnold Schwarzenegger, the governor from California. God damn, dude. See, here's the problem. That feels like McDojo, right? We all know McDojo. If you don't follow McDojo life, you're missing out on the greatest, most hilarious, just bullshit fucking martial artists 
who are like, I'm going to use the power of my key to deflect you before you attack me with your sword. Whatever. That looks and feels like it's it's edited like a McDojo, but it's bass fucking rootin'. <laughs> so no, absolutely not. You are dead. He actually probably did. Do, 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 do. <laughs> he probably did. I believe it. Oh my god. Because he speaks from experience, I presume. Of course. From all these fighting and bar bouncer years. God. <laughs> Damn. Hitting him with the fucking triple kicks in one spin. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. If we were playing uh, 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 the new Double Dragon, that would be a triple co like a triple combo go. bonus, right? <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you. I feel like I can fight now. Never mind the guy with the gun pointing at him that uses the, his self defense techniques. We're covered. Purse owner. It's by Sapphire. Excuse me, ma'am. Is this yours? Ah, oh, my purse. Thank heavens you found it. So this purse belongs to you? Yes, that's right. So you could say you're a oh my God. purse owner. I've, I've heard enough to piece it together, but yeah. 13 years ago. Oh, <laughs> God damn it. 12. Not bad. <laughs> Dude, like, you right? Got the range. You got the range. You got I the mean, feel. you've been online too much. Maybe I can't clap 10 seconds clean, but I can pinpoint a fucking meme video. On vibes and deep fried visuals alone. What's the subject matter? How actually funny versus corny is it? Yeah. Yeah. The calculations. Yeah. That's 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 what I can do. I can fucking pinpoint a meme, Man. bro. Could oh I could tell how old an a tree is just by looking at it. Twenty eleven. September third. There you go. Son of a bitch. Nintendo Wii theme versus 33 pro musicians. Oh, is this Alex? Alex hey, Alex Mukala. Let's go. What a god. Man. Can I just say, can I just say that like when Alex showed up and like made his channel first, and like had like very few people that knew about him. Like I love it like like his success is like faith that like yo good shit can still just rise to the top. Cuz he came out of nowhere, he made some amazing mu videos and just him analyzing music and or doing covers of shit and it just exploded cuz everyone was like this is incredible, you got to watch it. And it was it was like in a time when old YouTube style like I guess growth didn't really work anymore. His did because he's just that good. That's impressive. Super chill, awesome, talented. Fuck it, I'm so happy that his shit is, that he's he's so, so big now because it's like it's like that didn't work anymore, but he proved otherwise with just quality. So, uh, yeah, man, Alex McCall is the shit above the algorithm. <laughs> Showing up in Yakuza. <laughs> Family Jewels, what's up? Yo, honestly, the Wii had some banger tracks. It, a, a dude? Um. Yeah. Yeah! Woo. Yeah! Uh! <laughs> uh! Get it! Let's go, V. Richard, what's up? Yo, yo. Yeah, no, thanks to V. Got to meet a couple of those folks at MAGFest. And oh, nice. Have a pleasant little conversation. 
I mean, honestly, like, fuck, we are the world, we are the children. <laughs> fuck what's going on. <laughs> Fuck getting everybody together, right? Fuck all the all the stars and, and A-listers coming together for the children. This is what we need. Uh, 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 uh. Hell yeah! That was a jam session. I'm gonna do the the fucking I have something important to say pose, right? The, the fucking something important's coming out thumbnail, All right? You gotta you gotta you gotta do one of these. The day, the day I booted up the Wii and went and made my me, and then went to the eShop. I believe I was with, I want to say I was with Min. And I specifically said Nintendo has just created a new series of classic themes that are going to be right up there with Mario and Zelda. Yeah. Like they have just, they have just added to the Nintendo historical OST library yep. for the first time in years. To this day. <laughs> and where's the fucking lie right there's not a lot of songs that come out in 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 like and from nintendo especially that are like entering that pantheon of all-time classical yeah. beloved music immediately those themes the fucking we nintendo uh me theme and the eShop. Mm -hmm. wow yeah, it's like you hear it and it plays a couple times. I'm like, they they did it, they actually did it. They and this is I feel like it's a concentrate. It was an effort too. They like we want to make an immediately catchy thing that belongs up there with da 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 da. da. Yeah, you know, bro. When when you hear that, da -da 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 yeah, Yo, like, yeah. What? That is deliberate. That is a designed thing. Like it gives you that little whoa. Yeah. You know, for sure, man, killed it. Was it was it Koji Kondo? I wouldn't be surprised to find out if it was. I don't know that it was, but Ooh. if it if it was, I would not be surprised because it's, you know, or like we go fight, we like we we track down Michiru Yamane or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I my first Alex Mukala. Uh, the first time I saw this person was because someone on Twitter said, "Hey, you look like this guy." <laughs> okay. So that's that's, that's why how I know Alex Mukala. Okay. And then after I saw like a few videos of him, and, oh wow, he's really really good. Huh? Yeah. yeah no, we found out because um he he replied or retweeted something that I did or we did. Sweet. There was some sort of interaction, and it was like, and it was like, oh, hey, what's yeah. up? Who's this? And I, well, I was like. You're that's fucking cool. You're super cool. <laughs> yeah, I, and then I think I just like retweeted some of his stuff, and there's, uh, yeah, I forget it was years, years ago, but it was it was really, really good. I think it was it might have been like um, it was Bloodborne. Yes, it was Bloodborne related. It was something relating. It was Bloodborne music, and like like it was absolutely a, a signal boost on that. There we go. Um, yeah, still would like to shake hands someday, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it out that way anytime soon. Uh, okay. Where? 
Woman struck by lightning. Speaks. A Boise, Idaho woman is considered Leaf a jack. medical miracle. Laura I've seen this. was struck by lightning nearly a month ago, oh, and no. she was considered officially dead. Boise. Thankfully, CPR from her mom revived her heart, but she laid in a coma for oh, two weeks. Oh, no. And then she defied I'm all going to hell. and woke up. Well, obviously, there was a problem with the tape. She doesn't really sound like that. She doesn't remember the accident, but the evidence is clear. Oh, Jesus I'm Christ. So sorry. learning to walk again after the oh. burns her Okay, all right, all right. Hopefully, get that tape fixed for you. Okay, all right. Fine. I was prepared for so much worse. I was prepared for, oh no, oh fuck, it, but it was just a technical stupid. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, you know, that was funny, but I was way too tensed up. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I was like, <gasps> deflect fair. shield, please. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a relief uh, that it was just that. Yes. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> Don't fucking go interview her to see what she sounds like. Go interview her to ask her about her cool new tattoo or her eyes. Yeah. Oh, the eyes change? Somehow? Yeah, they oh, do. Cool. I knew about the tattoo. Like, there's like a mark that's like literally Listen, lightning on your skin. I am not recommending anybody go get hit by lightning. But if you happen to go hit by lightning, you get an awesome fucking keepsake. For surviving it. Uh, you get, if I may, look at this shit. Here's two good examples of it. Yeah, that's about us. All right? Here's what you get. A fucking tattoo that looks like lightning. Does, isn't that rad? Right? On your arm, even. And like... That's fucking cool. It's beautiful. Right? How sick is that? It's a, it look it's like almost like a natural tree on your back. Um here, let me see if I can yeah, I I, I I'm we're in the wild right now. I'm a little yeah, like a little be careful. I'm trying to be careful. Let me see if I can open these up in a way. There we go. Thank you. Um and then here's the other thing I saw, if I can just find it real quick. You know, it's like, look, God hated you, but if you fucking survive. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, I don't want to freak anybody out here. So let's just try to find the non-creepy version. Um, Something like this. Because, yeah, some of these are... are if you don't want to see close-ups of eyes, you get freaked out by it. I get it. Uh, Here is... Let me find a single one. There we go, this. This is probably not going to freak anybody out, right? Yeah, okay. So one, you get this. Mm -hmm. Right? Or no nipple. And just uh, male presenting. Oh, phew. Thank God. We're good. Uh, and then, like this. This is just like a fucking, like, art of, like, a tree or a lightning bolt on your skin. It's so cool. You know, the fact that it actually resembles the thing that happened mm -hmm. to you. You have get you get an earth tree on your back, man. Fair. Amazing. And then also for some people You 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 were chosen at this Yeah. Point. And on top of that, uh if for some people, the um your iris t gets shaped differently and the cornea gets the star effect around it, and your eyes turn into that. Staringan! Right? <laughs> So, like, you survive getting fucking shocked, and, like, you can turn into the coolest transformation mm. ever. Bitch, I lived. Star eyes and a giant lightning tattoo. An absolute transformation. I live. Phase two. Yep. Right? Pretty cool. It's dope. So, uh, yeah, I think, I think that's rad as shit. Hmm. Or you could be like that, um... That forest ranger who got struck by lightning seven times in oh, his life. Oh, okay. So, 
Okay, there's a version of that that's a fake story that spread on the internet, and then there's a real one, and I think it was... Oh, I got that one from the Guinness record book or whatever. Okay, there was a, there's a fake one, and there's a real one, and the, re the fake one had a bigger number than the real one. Okay. But the real one was fucked up because the person did... I think they got hit, tw like, two or three times, and then died on the fourth one. Okay, no, that's not what I heard. What I heard was the ranger got hit like seven times. And like one time his hair caught on fire. A few times his like toenails would like explode. A bunch of stuff happened. And he lived through them all. And then he had like a heartbreak. He had a bad relationship. And he decided that it was enough for him about life. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That sucks. That really sucks. Yeah. But imagine like. Did he have a purple lightsaber? Unfortunately, <laughs> I think he did not. Okay, okay. Just checking. Yeah, you know, getting this close to this much power, you know. I don't know how much. I don't think you can quantify the amount of power that was involved, but... Perhaps a lot. All right, tool assisted. Alex versus Hugo. Third strike. Okay. Why do we need to watch a Team Blue is full FGC I mean, right now. M Bizarro, sure thing. But like, yo, tool, okay, tool assisted, sure. Regular third strike is exciting enough. <laughs> Circuits. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Oh, oh the back, back turn version. Uh, squashed. Ooh. Squashed that meat. Uh, uh, uh. Whoa! Bop, bop. bop. That's insanity. Yeah, tool assisted. Yo! Turn out DDT! Nobody does that. You can't escape. I didn't know. Hyper bomb. That can happen? Tool assisted. Frame perfect. The super? The super? That's insane. Super? And, it, and it won. That's crazy. First super one. And then Wait power exchange. What are the super bar? That's not Hugo's level one. He has two other three meter. That's the. Isn't the super command throw one bar? Oh, we're we're just in the bullshit then. Ah, we're we're. This is probably okay. 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 Prediction. This like is probably not or whatever. This is probably not just tool assisted. This is probably the Dreamcast version using system direction. Yeah, with the, the switches and everything. It's not dip switches. It's it's uh more than dip switches because dip switches you can do a bunch of crazy shit on the arcade version. The system direction options on the Dreamcast version of Third Strike allow you to give a character all three supers at once. Ah, uh, it yeah. allows you to block in the air. Yeah. It allows you to do uh um um gatling combos. You can do light light medium medium heavy heavy. It allows you to do all kinds of crazy shit. So this is probably that, especially if it's three bars. Yeah. Then it's three bars giving you access to all supers. I see. The jig is up. I mean they did it says TAS, but yeah. But it, it's not usually tool assisted, but the normal version of the game yeah. is expected. But this is tool assisted on a modified version of the game mm -hmm. as well. We used to do that back in the day for fun. Just to turn it into Alpha 3. Like what happens oh if your God. characters... Yeah, that's crazy. What happens if you have access to all three supers at once? That was always know? a cool throw. I love that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The back turn. Uh, uh, uh. What? Ridiculous. As if Hugo fucking... As if Hugo's pulling that off in a match. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, see? There you go. He has to cancel uh, Hammer Frenzy. Into Megaton Press. And then... He has all three. For sure. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, they wanted to show some nonsense. Yeah, the all three supers. Yeah, Alex is so sick with the, the back turn versions of moves. Woo! That's cute. And there's aspects of his design that I think were lost on some people at the time. I'll get into it in a second. Uh, 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 uh. There's a grab! Ah, he knows. Spy! Right! End! 
<laughs> Parry happy combo videos. Can you escape? Oh, I love this you game. can escape. <laughs> Hammer frenzy cancel. Oh, pixels! The Megaton, watch out! No, that's a whole lot of life to combo with. Of course that works. That works. <laughs> you better be doing the elbow into the into the fucking stun gun headbutt. Ooh. 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 Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay, we saw all the moves there. There you go. Canceling one into the other. Oh, Nonsense. Cute. Yeah. If you ever want to turn third strike into Alpha Three, right, or CVS Two. You hit the Dreamcast version, and you go to System Direction, and you turn all of that bullshit on. Um, I just want to give a special shout outs to Alex, the Street Fighter, because uh, he, while his the game he came from originally, people were like, "What the fuck is this new thing?" It's called Three. It wasn't even called Street Fighter Three at the time, you know. And then we move forward till Third Strike being one of the best and all that. But um, not a lot of appreciation, I think, because. I like he's cool, but I think a lot of people missed out on the fact that his design, his move set, represents all Street Fighters. At a time when you have charge characters, motion characters, and grapplers, he's literally all three in I one. See. He has quarter circle motions. He has full three sixty grabs. He has charge moves. Right. That's true. Half circles in each direction. He's charges top to bottom, up, back to front. He's supposed to be a hero. He is all Street Fighter move archetypes in one character. And he represents the whole thing. That's what his moveset is supposed to be. It's so cool that they did that. Yeah, where's Ryu? <laughs> right? Where's Ken? What is he? The perfect hybrid, right? There's, in a, you know, there's, you can have, it's more than just a semi-grappler. He's a perfect hybrid fighting game character. Don't think they ever really did it again. But philosophically, I love that he's the Street Fighter. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, I never yeah. saw it that way. Yeah. Yeah. It's like when you when you look at what he does and what like he has that like that kit is it's the whole thing. Can you look at the description real quick? Painting with all the colors of the wind. Uh oh uh, the oh did they mention the version? Okay. No, no, maybe. Emulator. Demonstration. Perfect. Save states. Frame advance. Yeah, so that's how you do the tool assist, is you save yeah. the state and you move forward for one frame at a time. All right, that's cool. Yeah, the methods of how they did it are pretty clear. Like, you just, you yeah, you freeze frame and move forward. But, um, it's not, again, it's not about that. It's about the version, Yeah. which I, again, like I said, the, the, the Dreamcast yeah. system direction. For sure. Yeah, somebody said, oh, look at the description for the version. It's that's, not. That's, that's why I checked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that person was fucking wrong. Isn't that cute? But it's wrong. Ooh, let's, let's go. Michael Scott resolves conflict. Wait, what the? Why are you popping up when I selected the other one? See that? That's how the skips happen. Wait. Again? What? You're highlighting Michael Scott. But we did we we did this, right? We definitely did this. Do whatever it takes to get them on board. Oh, hey, no problemo. Eli Handle B, yeah. My boss is sending me. We've seen a couple from Goated. But I think we see that one. Yeah. International client. And I Part two? Always been intrigued by international. The women, the pancakes, the man of mystery. Swag. Stuff we all get. Okay, I no, this is I haven't, we haven't seen part two. For free with all of my swag. <sighs> the city. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. <sighs> you are such a racist. <laughs> when people work together, there is going to be conflict. You can't outrun your problems. Okay, you, you two in the, the conference group. room with me. Nobody leaves until we work this out. <laughs> Cage match. <laughs> cage matches? Yeah, they work. How could they not work? If they didn't work, everybody would still be in the cage. I just want her dead. Fuck your feelings. This is none of your affair. Because she is your boss. Screw you! And she is a woman. She is a strong, <laughs> soft, thoughtful, sexy woman. <laughs> oh, thank you. Is that all? You're both assholes. 
this is an important day, big day. Now, you may look around <laughs> and see two groups here. Fuck the dollar White collar, blue collar. But I don't see it that way. And you know why not? Because I am collar blind. Right. <laughs> Your time is at an end. You must decide. No. I'm an adult. I don't have to think or do anything. You're a kid. You're a little snot nosed punk kid Fox. who thinks he's better than everybody else. <laughs> Listen, I like kids, but this is not a kid's environment. <laughs> right? Like HBO, no limits. Who knows what I'm going to say? Crazy stuff. Wow. <laughs> Wait, how'd you do that? You just did some new shit. And business are about human connections. Wait, hold on, stop. Did he just take the actual kid from the office and then color change? HBO, no limits. Who knows what I'm gonna say? Crazy stuff. <laughs> no, what, wow. man? People I guess the model. Yeah. In the Eli handled B. It's next level, man. Business are about human connections, and computers are about trying to murder you. And to me, the choice is easy. Best edits, like no hands down, like no quad, no contest. Problem. Camera work, zooming. The, like, there's not a single, like, every single, like, keyed element is, like, perfectly crisp. It's amazing. Yeah. From, like, the game and mm -hmm. the visual material Both. merged perfectly. Camera working yeah. as well, overla overlapping the layers perfectly, frame by frame, you know, like, ex excellence in that. The Austin Powers one. Yeah. Um, did he do, or did they do the... Um, Tenacious D, Ava, Master Exploder. I'm not, I, I, I like, did not mean to, to blow, blow your mind. mind. To blow your mind. My voice is fucking No, no, powerful. no, no, no. Oh. Voice, you mixed up verse two and verse one. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I did not mean to blow your mind because that shit happens to me all, all the, the time. time. Right. I do not need, I do not need a microphone. I'm like, his voice is fucking, fucking powerful. powerful. Bobby. Oh. <laughs> Terrible. Feeling um, great. Yep. You let Sazafras down, man. Um, I don't know if, uh, if, yeah, if Master Exploder Ava was, was Eli Comedy B or, or so, but like, that's another one that's way up there. Uh, I don't believe we can play that without getting fucking struck by lightning, though. Mm. No cool tattoo this time. Damn. Oh, no. This sounds awful. Uh shit. Shit. I hope it's dirty and disgusting. Okay, uh, you're gonna look at Yeah, I'm giving it a little preview, man. I don't wanna power. see Yeah. <laughs> I don't wanna Uh you know, I don't wanna see you fucking Hey everyone, today I'm outside and it is pouring Post out. 10. I am in a cemetery today and there is a, a cemetery block of drain. Right here, you see the middle where all that junk is collecting? There is a drain there. I have done this one in my past, like twice. It tends to clog up pretty fast. The first time I did it, if you saw that, it was really jammed with dirt and stuff. This time I'm figuring just it's dirt? just grass. Like leaves, because if you look up this hill right here, if it was just leaves, this wouldn't be a video we'd be watching right now, would it? Like this. If it was just pulling dirt out and it was just leaves and dirt, we wouldn't be okay, clicking play on this video. Here, it wouldn't be here in front of us watching us. The fact that it's Get in there. Hand, na naked the, hands. The fact that we're watching it right now gives up the, the fucking game. Naked hands. Okay. That doesn't seem too bad. Now stick your arm in it to solve the Silent Hill puzzle. There we go. Oddly satisfying. You see how it has this side here? When I put this back, it has a side part where the water will go in through. Don't drop your phone. Yep. 
Make sure that's in tight. There we go. That's okay. how it went in. That is a really old drain. You don't see the round ones like that really anymore. You see, that's how far out the water was. This is exactly what was clogging it. You see it was starting to go down the hill here. That's the way you see all that debris washing. The Until the video is over, over, I'm still on the edge of my seat. So I don't think this will clog up again. I'm more nervous because of your cautiousness. But I think he just did a good thing. Thanks for watching. All right. Okay. I mean, was he just playing in the water there, or was he just trying to hurry it up? I don't know what that last part was, but that was satisfying. Good job. Okay. All right. Fine. O oddly satisfying. You know what he said? Cemetery. He said, he said clog. cemetery. He, he said put clogs. his hand naked he put in his it. hand raw into the whole Silent so Hill style. So it was kind of scary. All of the things were stacked. For something rough furthermore i have already relayed the stories of when i had a clogged drain in grenada mm -hmm. back at the house right and how the act of unclogging that drain was uh shall we say a canon event <laughs> was to drain your butt oh it was i'm sorry i didn't mean to make jokes one on ten after opening the uh, sink, because the sink get got backed up while the dishes were being washed, we tried to plumb, we tried to plunge, yeah, we tried to fucking reach in and drain out, and nothing could uh, get it, right? And it was like, what's happening? The water seems clear, it sounds clear all the way through. The blockage was happening way outside, not inside the house. Okay. So going out to where past like your sump pump like sort of areas would be, uh, my brother uncaps and pulls the thing and then uh, a, a snake tail flops out. Okay, yeah, that's scary. And it's like, God fucking damn it. A snake got up in there and died and clogged the fucking pipe. That's crazy, yeah. So you pull the snake tail, and it's not a snake tail. It's a rat tail. But it is the size of the back of a snake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, that's not cool. That's kind of scary. And the liquid clearly has done what it does to a corpse to create extreme blockage. Uh-huh. Did it spray? So uh, we uh, we were on a plane out of Grenada shortly thereafter. <laughs> um, also suffering from dengue fever. <laughs> God damn. You know. Okay, yeah, that's gross. So. <laughs> so when I see this type of shit. Uh-huh. You, you I go, transport. You go places. And I... And I'm, I'm, I don't want to see this. Understood. All right. So all you're seeing is me mm -hmm. just look, going through it. That's good. You weren't there. I was definitely not. They weren't there. You're like, oh, I'm looking at the thumbnail. Call me a coward. Okay. Come with me back to Grenada, fool. Come with me back to Grenada. I'll show you some sights you've never seen. You know, and some nutmeg. <laughs> and a couple of. Tamarind balls. Mm. Maybe Get you some maybe, of that guava cheese. And some jab jab. Mm. But yeah, a little bit of that. Wubba dubba dub is that scum. All right. Can I say minus points for not spelling it S C H U M? Big. Hey, you know what's important? You know what's important? What's up? Clicking back so that they can see what we're doing. That helps. Okay. 
Big. Wub a dub dub is that scum. No See? H. No H. Wub a dub a dub a dub dub. Mm hmm. Wub a dub a dub a dub. True. Scum. Wub a dub a dub a dub. True. Die. It's weird to see his five model with the blue coat on it. I'm so used to seeing the black jacket now. It was true. <laughs> All right. That one was for you. Yeah, it goes. it's cute. How they feel at a drive-thru, but it's 3.20 a.m. By Caleb City. Oh, ah, Caleb. Uh, could I, get a I hate you. I know. Cheeseburger. I am genuinely disappointed in. Okay, okay, okay. I do. I have to say. I have to say. <laughs> like, I do feel most of the Caleb videos I've seen, they do have that thing where first joke within the first ten seconds is all you need, <laughs> right? Like, there's a little bit of that, or like, it's like we can keep going, but it's it's it, it's a thirteen on ten if you call it immediately. <laughs> Um, like there was, I remember there was a website back in the day that was like, yeah, remember the, the webcomic control alt delete? Yes. Okay. So obviously loss memes, etc. Right. But there was, there was a legitimate loss is not the funniest thing to come from, from that. To me, it was control alt delete edited where I, I forgot what the name of it was, but you take panel one and you delete panels two and three. And then you take panel four and panels one and four together, make it a better comic. Okay. In some cases, absolutely fucking hilarious. And like the best example I remember is one where the first panel is a bunch of government agents in, a, in an interrogation room staring at Bomberman. And then they panels two and three, they go, what do you know about this case? And he's like, I don't know nothing. And they're like, are you lying to me, you son of a bitch? And then they go back and forth. And then panel four is they're just beating the shit out of him. <laughs> Delete all the talking. And it's just a bunch of government people staring at Bomber Man. And then just beating the shit out of him. And it's so much funnier. But the entire middle just didn't need to be there, right? Okay. It's, 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 a, it, I'm reminded of that kind of vibe. But this, like, right off the bat, I remember the last couple of weeks seen where I was like, the first thing immediately is perfect right <laughs> that, that being said it, they're still fucking great but like right here <laughs> uh could i get a I hate you i know <laughs> and we're out <laughs> a double cheeseburger i am genuinely disappointed in sorry for and angry with your parents all at once and i don't even know them with small fries you are single-handedly without a doubt the worst being to ever exist on this planet and uh extra on the very off chance of someone ever loving you and having kids with you i'm going to hate them too a extra street tea would that complete your order yeah that's it all right five hit the other window Okay. Enjoy your meal. Okay. Meal. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, thank you. Yeah, enjoy your meal. Can I have my car back? What? Okay, I'm sorry. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Good shit. First ten seconds. Yep. First ten <laughs> seconds. <laughs> you gotta watch the whole thing after that. You gotta watch Wait, the did thing. they say five fifty? Here you go. 
Okay. Enjoy your meal. Yeah, that's it. All right, five fifty at the window. Damn, that's crazy. What that that is that is that is your grandpa's time. <laughs> Anyway, oh, don't talk about old food, old food prices, man. I was collecting bus passes and they had the big price printed on them. And I had a bus ticket when it said 25 cents on it and a bus pass when it said $21. That's sounds like back in my day, yep. old fogey shit. That's how it sounds. Except like. it was 1995. <laughs> like nigga you old <laughs> sure but also like we were one year out from like all the fucking amazing classic anyway whatever we we were we were we were fully in an uh, uh, a uh, internet exists but that ticket still said 25 cents on it it was, it was wild mm. and i just remember every single year that price would go up by a dollar Nonstop, and then it started accelerating past one dollar per year. You know, um, we're almost over a hundred now. We're reaching it. Yep. How's the how's the how's the service going? Mm -hmm. Yeah, cost of living, average remuneration. You know, like <laughs> and 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 the extra is going towards improving the quality of the service, though, right? I feel so much better about the service nowadays. Yeah, the definitive May experience in Guilty Gear Strive, Totsu, and I can't stress this enough, Zariwari. Hold back forward slash back forward heavy slash hold back forward slash back forward heavy slash hold back forward slash back forward heavy slash hold back forward slash Oh boy Safe to say that uh May is the Honda of Strive Mm -hmm. Right. That's the fair comparison. The filter. Uh huh. Annoying, simple, but do people still talk about her? Solvable. Right. Probably that's... not. Now that she can jump jump off the dolphin, that's pretty cool. That's cute. Have you seen this gun? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen these crosshairs pointed at your fucking dome? What are we talking about with a dolphin? Fuck a dolphin. I'm trying not to get shot. Whoa. Milk crate. Stop motion. Woodworking. Omozak. Four minutes. Ah, uh, this stuff. This stuff is super cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is he cutting it like that? Yeah. Because it's stop motion. There's it's, there's a uh, there's cooking ones like this where you see food being prepared in this way. It's pretty cool, like tapping an orange and then it falls into perfect slices. It's usually with food. I've, I don't think I've seen it done with like wood. Oddly satisfying. Too satisfying. Oh my god, it's like butter. If only life was actually like that. Soft. Mm hmm. Truly fantasy. See, because if you've ever built a gunpla, you're like, stop lying to me. <laughs> <laughs> if you've ever built a perfect grade. I was super gluing some Kingdom Death monster figures the other day. You remember, because you saw them all over the fucking kitchen. I was like, what the heck was going for on? For weeks. <laughs> So what is the purpose of a milk crate? This is very cool. I do appreciate everything. I am going to speed it up, though. Is it to store milk? Or just... Ooh! 
Does carry milk? I think it's for putting milk when you have bottles of milk that the milkman delivers. Hmm. You gotta store your milk bottles in your milk crate. You see, out there, in the savage lands, they don't have bags for their milk. I know, it's fucking crazy. kind of weird. It's fucking crazy, but they don't have bags. So they gotta do things like this. You see what they have to build to emulate an ounce of our power? <laughs> They're way behind, I didn't expect that. <laughs> Okay. Stain your wood to make it look nice. Preserves the milk longer. And put some actual imperfections in it to make it look aged. It's like jeans, you know? Mmm. Gotcha. If it's too perfect, it doesn't have enough character. You know, I think I saw plastic jugs in that shape at the store the other day. I believe it. Kind of backward, all this this plastic for no reason. That being said, though, why even? I mean, to stain and age the wood that way, you can go find some actually aged, stained, beautiful wood. I guess it's just really expensive. Yeah, that's probably more affordable to do it that way. Your mother was a hamster, by Solus Astorius. What about the father? Did he smell of elderberries? Vous avez insulté mon jeu pour la dernière fois Combattez-moi dans un duel d'honneur Hmm, ainsi soit-il. Il est temps de se battre en... Duel Empereur Napoléon Nos officiers sont tous morts Comment ça, ils sont tous morts Comment est-ce que ça a pu arriver, putain Oups, désolé pour ça. Excusez-moi, bitch Ça merde you pirates uh, are just filthy thieves, and uh, I couldn't read the cursive, so I'm just I'm just listening. I'll have you no one actually employed. What? Privateering, she calls it. Hey girl, you'll never guess how I solved my pirate problem. We're at the end of the list, guys. There's there's no there's no skipping left. We're just going through what's left. <laughs> like we're we're literally just rounding it out. We can skip it out of spite. Yeah, I guess, but what's the source game on that? Or world or um manga or Ref reference? Oh, literally just France. Gotcha. Okay. Now. Whoa, whoa, yeah, wow. Yeah. <laughs> the full version. Why does he look so weird? Have you never seen Japanese Spider-Man, dude? Not like this. Always, always weird. Always bumps and shapes under the suit. <laughs> the Emissary from Hell. From the fucking planet spider, man. <laughs> Crawl on that ceiling. Yeah! Every episode, every time. There you go. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Go! Oh, they hated that barrier. Oh, wait, that's ready. Change Leopardon! Kimi Wanaze! Kimi Wanaze! Tata Kawi Utsuzukeru no o Ibimi no Kakete! Why do you keep on fighting? Ito suji ni mutaki no oto oko Spider-Man The Iron Cross Army 
<laughs> nice crotch shot. Ooh, that's perspective! Alright. Nice. Oh my god, Spider Man's dead. No, he's fine, he's fine. <laughs> there is something very important you need to know about Leopardon. The origin of Super Sentai robots. Okay. Mind you. The very first. That footage of Leopardon. They immediately after recording it, I want to say the suit, the original suit, was destroyed. They were never able to recover it, and they were never able to film anymore. So they only had the stock footage of his final attack, and they used that for the entire show every single episode. Every time Infinity. Which is why it's the same stock footage. Why would they destroy it? I don't think it was intentional. I think it was an accident and they made fucking do. Or it was stolen. Something happened where they no longer had access to Leopardon. So they just had to use the stock footage every single episode. And as long as he's outside, you're fine. And Ooh, from nice. this, the Megazord and all Rangers jumping into their big mecha was born. It's also why the, the Sentai suits look kind of Spider-Man-ish oh. with the shapes on the chest, the, you know, some of the face, the helmet. It's why it's kind of similar with the tights. Fucking Japanese oh. Spider-Man, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Are you okay, Spider-Man? Oh, that's Gar. What the fr- Yeah, our Spider-Man doesn't have wheels like that. Of course- well, he did, eventually. They, I mean, they totally was a Spider-Car. But back then, Japan was selling their fucking Yo. toys, man. Shoot them! SHOOT THEM! Oh my god! <laughs> they were robots? <laughs> the hell am I looking at? You know exactly what you're looking at. Gene fucking Simmons. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, Felicia Hardy's come a long way. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sick. If you can stop a helicopter between the Twin Towers, you can stop a... Tiny car. A home-ass vehicle. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I can't. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Shin Kamen Rider capture this vibe so perfectly? Right? This is what, like, just going back to this this era. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So good. Good shit. All right. Those were the best parts. I don't need to watch it anymore. Kimi wa naze. Dude, like it's that it's that we were talking about this. It's that deep Japanese man voice singing somber over a shot glass at the bar, you know? <laughs> that like that that you could oh we could all hit those notes because there's soul behind it. Fucking love mm -hmm. that shit. Breaking the law. Breaking the world, Kowase. Ah, he knows it! He knows it, y'all! Soon. Soon.
soon. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to hit up that karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> to push those buttons. I told you. I told you. They don't know. They don't know yet. <laughs> Ping pong carnival. Right. Ooh, okay. Sick. Takyu Gain. Oh, seven ten split. No way. Genin? Genin? Okay. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Massacre. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come Rockin on. Wow. <laughs> you gotta live. Shinji and I. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's one of those hours spent on it, though. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's my technique. Wow. Anyone remember the anime Ping Pong Club? No, but I remember yeah. Ping Pong the animation. Oh, that thing. Yeah. Something like that. It was so good. Did you watch it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so good. Oh, my God. I need to see the outtakes for how long it took. <laughs> you gotta live the life, man. Nice, 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 nice. Good reactions. <laughs> <laughs> chopper. <laughs> Yo, don't make me choose. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just breaks apart. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that was great. Wow. There you go. Jackass Japan. Nice. That was good. Fucking skills, man. <laughs> Taikyu Gated. Ping Pong Carnival. You want to give that a crack? I can't read kanji. Oh. You want to give that a crack? Tonbatome. <laughs> 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 All right, we good. <laughs> we out. <laughs> I know you, bro. Don't front. I know you. <laughs> oh, I ain't lying. I'm, I'm fully open about it. All right. <laughs> uh, incredible. Everything goes in the square. Oh, classic. Classic, the classic. Square. Can you guess which spot that goes the in? The square. That's right. It goes in the square. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And how about this rectangle? That one also this square. goes in there too. Yeah. Up next, we've got this thin rectangle. The thin rectangle. Can you guess where that goes? The thin rectangle. That's right. It goes in the square hole. <laughs> and up next, a cylinder. Hmm. The circle. I think that goes in the circle. The square hole. Now we've also got this semicircle right here. 
Do you see a slot that would fit the, the semicircle? Semicircle. The, sem the semicircle. That's right. It's the square. <laughs> I like how she breaks <laughs> down progressively. Triangle. You know what hole that goes the into, triangle. right? Triangle. That's right. The square hole. <laughs> and up, la up next, we have the arch. The arch. The arch. You guessed it. The arch. It goes in the square. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That, again, classic. Classic. <laughs> Then there was the the second one afterwards too. That's that's a bit like a the QA experience, you mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm. But just like yeah, extremely relatable. <laughs> Bro, your your thing doesn't work. It it's it's kind of buggy. What what do you mean? Well, it's kind of buggy. It's your fault, QA. No. Well, yeah. Re replace nervous anxiety girl with a uh, loaded gun <laughs> pointed in your direction every time you put it in the square. <laughs> Dodge a bullet and put the triangle in the square. You think I'm going to stop? <laughs> Watch me. God. Cylinder in the square. Fucking. Every time you submit a bug, you got to watch your back. POV, you're a non-stand user. This already sounds great. 14 seconds. Slime a bob. <laughs> People in the back are like, what? Yeah, sure, 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 sure. <laughs> Fine. Play it again. Yeah, 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 for sure. He's like, oh shit, it's going down, it's going down. What? <laughs> and then she gets it. Over there, fake shirt. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I mean, honestly, like at some point when Dio and Jotaro just start floating into the air, what? Like, it's yeah. never mind. You know, like you see Joseph. Goes. You see Joseph Spider Maning through Cairo with his fucking you know per hermit purple. Yeah. Like, yeah, you didn't do it before, but shut up. Those guys are flying. <laughs> Keep up, motherfucker. You know <laughs> what? You're gonna Keep stop and complain. Man. Oh, let's go. Kenny Omega. Yeah. Wait, are we going to get annihilated for this? Mm. This is actually a New Japan clip. Uh, Ooh. We might get annihilated for this. Uh, we might have to skip. Uh, too bad. It's really cool, though. Yeah, I saw this. Is, I, you saw it, too, right? He comes out and he's doing the Sephiroth. Mm -hmm. It's really, really sick. Um, super cool. I can't wait to annoy Little Viet Magfest when I go like, "Damn, dude, fucking battle cries." That was the best shit. shit. That's my that was my favorite shit ever. ever. <laughs> Last time he was just like, "Yeah," he, he literally. <laughs> I think he's like, "Yeah, I hope one day I can surpass it." <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll make something better than that someday, Wooly. <laughs> How does it feel? <laughs> Bro, I love your old yeah! shit. <laughs> Remember that old yeah. shit you did? <laughs> that was the best. I still go back and I watch it well. over and over again. Have you been doing new shit? Doesn't matter, bro. That shit, that was the best. You'll never top it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, there's a How new. How does it feel? I don't know. There's a new track that's at least a contender. <laughs> might I, might I, uh, might I add? I don't know. I mean, that shit was incredible, but there's something nice about You talked about it so much that I had to go listen to the song over and over again when I got back to Montreal. I was like, oh, it's in my head. I listen to it. Spotify loop, is loop, it? loop, okay. loop. I'm like, oh man, yeah, it is, it is a banger. Any regrets? That's true. N no regrets. No regrets. Because <laughs> you were saying that shit. It's a great track. I'm like, yeah, that's it's, it's a banger track. It's incredible. I gotta listen to it now. Yeah. <laughs> that's what happened. Yeah. There you go. I hear the battle cry. <laughs> I hear the devil sky. <laughs> the one winged angels cry. Are you ready to go? Are you ready for this? He's referencing all the things. <laughs> God damn. Hey, it's fine. You know what? You know what else is a banger? Versus wolves. There you go. <laughs> New shit. New shit. New shit. That hot shit dropping today. He absolutely cannot miss. 
for the life of him. I bet he, he would try to miss and still fail. From the moon, backwards, <laughs> blindfolded, he will never miss. With the wrong hand. What, what am I saying? Both his hands are magical. Fucking Larry Bird. Steph Curry from Saturn. Uh, Where are we at? Hmm. Hold on a second, my computer is slowing down. What's going on over here? Huh. Interesting. Let's see what's happening. <laughs> feel yourself yeah feel yourself. yeah bringing in bringing in that guitar shredding it up doing what you do but i'm specific i'm like i want a mysterious 70s japanese detective Ooh, <laughs> that was a request <laughs> i want a a you know a like a just with those horns kicking in yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. intrigue the intrigue of a 70s Japanese detective. Wonderful. Wonderful. Fucking killed it. Um, also. Oh? Because when we talk about wrestling intros. Also. I must have talked about this at some point. Uh, I think it's New Dawn over Osaka. Hmm. I don't think I know what this is. I must have. I feel like at some point I pull my phone out walking in the streets and tell people about the Rainmaker intro. Because this is this is this is what this is where I first learned about Okada. Uh, let me see. New beginning in Osaka. I want to say that's what it is. It's not Shinsuke Nakamura. Is this just the track? This is just the track. Is it this track? This is just the track. God damn it. <sighs> hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. If you know, you know. You know the one I'm looking for. I'm patient. I'm waiting. All right. That was many years ago, so there's probably some really cool shit since then. Ah, uh, no. No, 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 no. I think it's gone. I think it's gone. I think it's gone. Um. Yeah. All right. Give me one more quick search here because there's a whole lot of these, but there's one in particular that it was the first thing I had ever seen. It's buried. It's gone. 
the motherfucker th- it's like it's like okay so Shinsuke, Shinsuke Nakamura has like you know fucking goaded entrances I've talked about um, Finn Balor mm. right synced up with the music every time he like does the head up whoa so good um but yeah i'm gonna scroll forever i'm not gonna find it this motherfucker walks out with okay i'm gonna i'm gonna just put the word entrance maybe it'll just come to the top of the word entrance Ah, two years ago, three months ago, six months ago. It's all too new. Five years. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Sorry, sorry. He walks out with a fucking buster sword, and then it just starts raining money, and then a velociraptor just starts... Ro- <laughs> like, it. it's just... It's the craziest shit ever. It's so over the top, and it's just... It's, it's my favorite. I just, yeah, I like, I like, from not knowing anything about him to see that was my introduction to the character. He he walks out with this insane jacket. He's got a giant Buster Sword on the Rainmaker Kazuchi Okada, and then as he's walking down the ramp and the music is playing, money starts raining from the fucking sky, and then a Velociraptor just rises in the background and starts writhing, and it's just like in the fucking in the on the ramp. <laughs> and it's just like money and buster sword and dinosaurs and you're just like yes to all these things <laughs> it's the best it's so fucking cool anyway uh god bless that shit was hype as fuck um but there's a uh, oh you fa- is it on reddit is that where it is because it's just like by now there's been so many uh okay let me see if i google Hmm. i think i'm okay it's fine it's fine i've already told you you already know Oh, God. Yeah, no. All right, all right, we're done. We're done. We're out, we're out, we're out, we're out, we're out. (laughs) It's fine. It's cool. Uh, What do we got over here? Bro is delusional. Oh, my God. Ooh, ooh, I thought we were close, but we we might not make it. Oh, no. We might not make it. We might not make it. All right, let's go. All right, power watching. I don't know how you would ever... I don't know how you would ever do that on purpose. Ah! On the fucking the fucking winning streak thing made me think that wasn't even there. What the fucking the fucking winning streak purpose? What? He thought someone was talking behind him. In the headphones, because it said we currently have a player on a winning streak, and he thought it was a voice from behind him. Dude, come the fuck on. Chill. Uh... All right, Min has suggested The Last Airbender. Since you've never, since you're never gonna watch the movie, this two-minute clip is all you'll ever need to see. If this is the Earthbenders doing their dance, then I've definitely seen this. Have you? Nope. All right, here we go. The Avatar is dead. If he was here, he would protect us. My name is Ong, and I'm the Avatar. I ran away, but I'm back now. It's time for you to stop doing this! The Avatar would have to be an airbender. Are you an airbender boy? <laughs> Leave him alone! How is he doing that? I 
don't want to hurt anyone. All airbenders should be dead. Oh Kill my them. god. It's so bad. Oh, it's so bad. Okay. Everybody can help us now. Okay, I have to watch it now. Dude. And it's because they want it all to be one shot, right? You're supposed to be impressed by the fact that it's one shot. One take. This is Casino right here. Children of Men. No camera cuts. Alright, now everybody stands up. Yeah, here we go! <laughs> ah! <laughs> the whole group of dudes for one rock. It's all one shot. Are you impressed? Okay. To be fair, that's the most of it I've ever seen. And it's so much worse than I actually thought. Like, it's actually worse than the thing I imagined it was. I need to watch the whole thing. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know. The fucking Berserk 2016 boner inside I, of you. I need to know. Can't contain itself. I need to know. I get it. The show was so good. How bad could this be? It's source material. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Don't go spend your time watching or reading anything that's actually good. <laughs> do that. That's a better use of your time. Everybody wants you to do that, Reggie. Oh, so that's why he's single by value soul. Value select. He's just too goddamn good looking. We look we saw this. We have. I guess it was on both sides. I blame the vetters. That's okay. Well, you can't. Sometimes both Twitter and Reddit want to guarantee that we see it. You can't grow grow concrete by Julia. Well, you can't grow concrete. You can. See you, Cameron. Cheerio. All right. Uh? All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going to assume... Okay, no context whatsoever, but it's a talking head on the news in Britain, and he's kicking the dude off the air. So safe to assume that was probably like a Brexit conversation or something about <laughs> environmental resources or something about just being sane. Can we, probably about a sane policy and then the dude just went like, nah, fuck that. Am I, am I off? Maybe, I don't know. Is that like, is that what that was? Or is it just like a complete moron? I don't know. I don't I know don't what know. insulate Britain means, but it feel, that's the if, vibe I'm getting. If a longer clip was needed, then wow okay gotcha okay <laughs> all right uh bu 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 10 most powerful fighting okay it's a top 10 list maybe skim yeah through, maybe maybe, it's 11 maybe skim sounds right for an 11 minute video uh most powerful fighting game characters all right well <laughs> By Watch Mojo. Welcome to Watch I've wasted Mojo. time watching Watch Today, Mojo. I haven't. Down our picks for the top 10 most powerful fighting because I hate top 10s. They By the way, go check game. out Versus Wolves, where we have top 10 lists. <laughs> talking about our, our 10 favorite things. In mine. <laughs> for this list, we're taking a look at fighting game characters oh boy. that are alive games already wield some crazy All right, shut up. Who's the who get to the point? That Alpha 152 is still alive, waiting to be unleashed upon the world. Top 10 weirdly sexualized it's, it, visual it's, game it's, characters. It's, 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 it's what Machinima used to be, right? Back in the day. All right. Number 9. 
Kratos. Sure. Yeah, from PlayStation. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Got it. Ash character taboo. Giga Bowser, uh -huh. Hands, Master Core. Ultimately, we decided on Gleam and Darkon. Got it. We're game characters because of the amount of nonsense she herself and recover health. Got it. Powerful? He spent so most of his playthrough playing that game. Uh huh. An interdimensional half god like Gargas. Sure. Zia has gone back and forth with his father, son, Okey and doke. grand. Powerful Mortal Kombat characters. We'd probably put Shao Kahn. I get defeated. Liu Kang wields Kronika's crown. Soul stealing powers. Yeah, and right. Hand fighter series. <laughs> Akuma's. Is from the Street Fighter series. Can't you just say favorite? Can't you just say favorite? Like, can we just, like, stop? Just say favorite. Everyone likes the, the yeah. But he's powerful. He's the darker, evil version compared to Ken and Ryu. He's, and he's really mean. He's Vegeta vibes, right. Just, yeah. <laughs> well, as someone who doesn't play video games, I was thoroughly entertained by this Watch Mojo video. <laughs> oh, you want to go back up the list? <laughs> Elder Scrolls Online High Isle Launch Cinematic by Bethesda Softworks. Looks expensive. This is already really cool, but there's this is not what Elder Scrolls vibes is like. Guys? Right? Like this is try this is making it significantly cooler than it actually is. <laughs> like, what are we doing? This is already really like, yeah. <laughs> like stop lying to me. See your character in Elder Scroll, or you just see your hands? Um, with mods in the later ones, I can't speak for the early Elder Scrolls games, though. Oh, he punched him! Shoutouts to the Warden. Yeet! So what is ESO actually like? You know what? No. No, hold on. I I won't I won't be lied to like this without having a better context. H hold on. Hold on. Please be a phone game. I I will not be out and out lied to <laughs> without some context. Please be a phone game. Okay. So uh, okay, the Elder Scroll Online, yeah, Pandian Unlimited, literally Lucy, 2014. Okay, PS4, Ga Xbox One. Uh huh. What's Ga going on over here? Gameplay. Hello, Noviek. No, nah, actually, it's Noviek. Uh, no, he he, he he just uh, he just I'm corrected you actually. Noviek. Excuse me. Okay. This is pretty cool. I like that they. Just okay. What do I do with that? Do I just oh, like? Okay, just 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 for my own reference. All right. Kind of like a human laser over there. And then he woke up in Samurai Showdown. So you mean to say he was dead?
And by human lazel, did you just mean like elven like the, the shape <laughs> The shape of the the facial traits were kind of like similar. Yeah. 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 He wakes up and then standing behind him. He's a Jinjuni shovel. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. <sighs> Sessions with Stan. From when I was 19 years old Aaron until Frum. I was 28, I got the chance to work with Stan Lee. He cool. was the best. This is a real recording from one of my favorite memories of the old man. Cool. I'm rolling. I don't say it because I don't say dirty words, but it seems to me that that so-called dirty word is probably the most useful word in the English language. Because it could be a verb, it could be a noun, it could be enemy. Say, ah, that fucking thing, that's no good, you know? Or you can say, fuck you, that makes it a verb, right? And no matter how you, there's no sentence where you couldn't use it to great advantage. For example, Rob Liefeld, fuck that guy. <laughs> Overkill, fuck that character. <laughs> And These I, traps. I'm gonna what the fuck are they for? I want to legalize How's he supposed to fucking walk? The word fuck. One of the great words in any language. I think we just need an excelsior. Excelsior! No, that's not good. Excelsior! Fucking fantastic. You get that fist up in the air, you weren't looking. Your head was down. I want your head up when I throw my fist in the air. I want you paying attention. I don't want you looking there when I'm emoting. Jesus. Fuck's going on here? What the fuck are you all standing around for? <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. Okay, I bet you this. I bet you this animator went to Sheridan, or a similarly uh, prestigious animation school that fast tracks to disney or pixar because the that sequence right there of like je, like all keyframes right moment to moment i've talked about we there's a point there's a there's a scene that we studied in animation class of uh um joker in batman the animated series where like he he is one of the best early examples of like talking and every single like not even just the word but like syllable gets emphasized with a different pose and yeah cal arts okay that cal arts would be the other would be the uh, the other equivalent yeah sheridan's the canadian uh, uh but like it and you see like this type of fist up in the air, thing they teach you how to animate down. in this way gestures squash and stretch right little motion like all of that emoting. jesus incredibly complex so that when you're flipping the paper and you're doing this you're seeing like a, like a whole lot of movement Move with an snapping from one right into the other you know yeah. Um, nice. Good job. Thank you, Aaron Fromm. I mean. From Mega 64. Industry, just, you want to talk about now missing? Uh-oh, looks like you bought a game on the release date. <laughs> you need the play date. That's the day when you can actually play the game. No more excuses, patches, or bullshit. Just the game you paid for on the day you can finally play it. Don't be a sucker for a release date ever again. <laughs> play date! Whoa, I can't wait to play Final Fantasy 15 on November 29th. No, you're not, kid. It's not going to be ready till February at least. On the play date. Street Fighter 5 has been out for almost a year. Have I played the arcade mode yet? Nope, loser. Multiplayer is ready, but you won't get the full game until sometime next year on the Play Date. Back in my day when you bought a game, it just worked. release <laughs> date. <laughs> I don't get it. How's the Play Date different from the release date? Moron! The release date is the day you release your money 
to the game creators. The Playdate is the day you can actually oh bask my. in the glory of a working game. Doesn't that sound like a ripoff? No way! You buy the game in advance, and the publishers get paid. It's win-win. Oh, now I get it. I love when games deliver what they Just... promise. I love video game companies, like Capcom. No, 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 no. Let's retcon. Street Fighter V was one of the sickest games ever. The launch was incredible. I can't I'm so the discourse. I'm so upset at how Six is going, and this is totally not me and my insecurity and the fact that I got good at a game that was around for a decade, and now that a new game is out and I'm not as good at it anymore, I'm getting really, really salty at my L's. No, it's in fact the fact. It's reality was different. Dissonance. Right. My experience weighing in at the end of a game's life cycle meant that the game was better retroactively back in time actually fuck this new shit it's all about that old shit looking at street fighter 6 players like first time because <laughs> it happens every time dude people plus our players shitting on exert let's take it back fucking like literally uh people shitting on third strike because it's not st dude, my favorite is fuck st Hyper fighting is the shit. None of that super comeback mechanic bullshit. Dude, like, like <laughs> you can go find the forum posts of people losing their minds shitting on the new game, going back to find out it's things that are considered instant classics. Fuck this CVS2 shit. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy the things, the mental gymnastics the mind goes through instead of just accepting that you're garbage. <laughs> Take the L! No, I, I, I'll rather go, I'll cha I'll edit time. I will fucking go back in time rather than take this L. You can't make me take it. You'll get something later, money. So don't miss it. Coming to a video game near you, the Playdate. Give us your money now. Money, 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 money. money, money. money. Mighty number nine. Omega 64 are the greatest. They literally can't miss. They're just the best. Like, if YouTube existed when they were fucking doing it oh they'd be trillionaire it's it, it's the only criminal thing is that the world did not catch up at the speed that of mega 64 they came ahead and they had quick time videos for us to download and and you know youtube Dude, that came was later the evil 4 video like classic yeah the world betrayed them <laughs> ultimate falcon match only the first 30 seconds Um, show me your moves. Show me your oh, moves. this. Yes, yes, okay. Yeah, yeah. I was like, uh, Reggie, what am I missing? Melee player? You can move on now. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. Um, there was a really, actually, there was a really fun one. On Brawl launch day, there was, when, when, when it was really new and hype, the, um, the Brawl theme. Right on the final destination makes Audi mm -hmm. Right, like there was that, but like they were fighting, and then they would like everyone would crouch on the beat. So it was okay. like dun 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 dun. I see. Dun, 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 dun. You stop fighting to uh, 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 jump, jump, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and then you restart the video because someone tripped. It was stupid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look, man. For all the horror that that brought competitively into the world, Odifamam Ilius, the fucking brawl theme song, singing about the hero of light, mm -hmm. and subspace emissary, and the mode where you can go and play all the classic games that these characters came from packed down the disc. Oh. That didn't need to be there, but just was there as an extra feature. Huh, I forgot about that. Was awesome. Huh. Okay. For no reason. It For no great... reason. Brawl was an excellent video game product. Package. Yeah. Sakurai package. delivering as a package. It was full. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. Right? Never mind the bracket. <laughs> never mind the tournament. Never mind the gameplay. Just the game the package was undeniable. Mm -hmm. Um when you accidentally hurt. Come on, Doug. I 
Ryan, your Ryan, dog by Fairbury Fair, Films. Ryan, oh no. Ryan. We'll go and play and do stuff. Yep. Ah, you stood on my, my pool. No! That's all right. It didn't, it didn't really hurt. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the other day I could heal. It hurt 10 times more. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you were supposed to trust me. I was supposed to protect you. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> my master. What have I done? <laughs> you leave me now. I've literally forgotten what's happened. What can I do to make up for it? I'll buy you a house. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> How are you going to this? Okay, I forgave you immediately. I'll give you anything! <laughs> Feed me. All I want is food and companionship. That's, that'll do it. I'm gonna make up for this with a million pats! Not necessary, but I'll take it. It's gonna take years to make up for! I'm much more over this than you are. No! <laughs> Accurate. That's fucking great. Accurate. That's so good. If you ever stepped like on your... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm tail. so sorry. <laughs> it's, it feels horrible. Uh, it was horrible. But there's also something because they're so innocent and they didn't deserve it. But there's also something that feels like, like stepping on a tail, like it just feels like it must hurt a lot. Yeah. You know, like stepping Get, on your dong on you your know? on your spine. Yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> It's a couple places we could have gone. Yeah, but, but like, yeah, like, it's just a it's not, poor little pupper. Don't no, we? it's not a ball kick. I mean, <laughs> I would say kicking them in the balls is more like kicking well, them in know, the balls. I was thinking of tail and like, what's the... It's it's like your spine. Yeah, okay. It just fe but it feels like, yeah, it feels like, ah, you know. Yeah. Damn. And then they squeal like, Ey! and then you're like, oh my god, no, what did I do? They're like, <laughs> yeah. No. Don't do it. <laughs> Mob versus Tetsuo. Canada! The unserious guy. Ooh! Got him! Did you see that one coming, huh? The classic shonen, hide behind the object. You picked the wrong guy to mess with! Uh, spoilers, I guess. Mob does cool shit. Angry mode? Spoiler for Akira. <laughs> March! <laughs> what the flip punch? <laughs> In the Sonic Blade pose. All from one picture. One JPEG leads to Marge having fucking keyframes. Flip punch is classic. Uh, love it. Always love to see it. Big fan. Especially when Fist is in the vanishing point right behind the main character's head. Mm -hmm. And the speed lines are uh, accentuating how far back the fist is so that it's coming right at you. And you just you have a nice fisheye lens to drag that shit out. Big impact. Feels good. Um... Tetsuo always makes me upset because that poor girl got it for no reason. Um, you ever seen Akira? Yeah, what? Well, Remember his girlfriend? Well, not his girlfriend. She just liked him. Basically, there's like the there's like the girl that that actually like was kind of interested for a while, and she's just around, and then she just gets caught up in the meat, and while he's going supernova. Oh, he goes full meat and then she gets caught in the meat and just pops and it was so disturbing so quick so sudden and so needless it was completely unnecessary but this random girl that's just a bystander that's like ultimately like a girl a girl that liked him just gets popped like a bug and it fucked me up when I saw that I was like why what for what reason? Why? What was the point of that? 
Why? And that I just I always that's all I think of. It's the thing I in fact, it's the thing I think of most about Akira. Is after the, the big moment. crazy fucking wild arm and the and the Canada laser battle with the gun, I think of the poor girl that just fucking pops for nothing. It it's it it fucked me up, man. Yeah. You know, I'm a fan of people popping for no reason. Yeah, like I think at the time I was like, like things like that would happen in anime. You'd watch your ninja scroll and your ghost in the shell and see some wild shit. But at the time, I remember like, like if it was like, it was either like an evil person do, making a point or like a hero. Like it was always like a, you you. It, it would usually be like it, it wouldn't just be like, not just collateral, but like collateral when she's the only one. It's not like a crowd of people getting it. It's like just one person. Yeah. In this in the in the place where they're fighting and she's just standing by. Like it was so like ah. Uh. Anyway. Shit was rough, man. All right, let's go. Let's go. Almost there. I am a sentinel. Nigel, a runner. A no two. pointer. Runner. Stevens, agent. Simon, a runner. Freeman, 13. I am a sentinel. Sentinel number 13. <laughs> Nicely done. That's good. Didn't overstay its welcome. Probably could have gone a little heavier on the on the filter, but nailed it. Just tap the start button mm -hmm. somewhere on the body. It's a double D. It's a D O double G. You see? What's up? That don't do nothing. Oh my god. Oh my it's god. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, my thorough. <laughs> Right now. We know. What do you do the mercy from Overwatch? You don't have a job. It's the weekend. What is that? What do you do the mercy from Overwatch? I didn't even get the player. Who's a blunts? He said the word blunts. Yeah. Smoke me out, bro. This definitely, this is definitely a first of three. Here I go. Ridiculous. Ridiculous mods. Controls everything, dog. <sighs> Can I just take a moment to, uh, I just want to, you know, pour one out for Lythero. Um, took him too soon. Uh, murdered by the Cap Cops. Um, you know, when they announced that any modders would be under attack, they did so over the corpse of Lythero. <laughs> That's crazy. You ever see when the police have a big bust and they just put all the drugs on the table in front of them? Mm -hmm. That was the cap cops over his body, actually. <laughs> so just pour one out because cap cop mods are fucking done and over with uh, if they have anything to say about it. And, um, you know, that man had a family, you know? So not anymore. Rip to a real one. Good work, soldier. Heroes get remembered, but legends never die. Susie, no. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, so, uh, Susie, I know it's cool and all when your friend can take your really realistic model from uh, uh, one game and put it in another game you really love. It's really cool. You can see stuff like yourself getting cut open by a laser hallway. It's pretty cool. But Capcom doesn't like it very much. <laughs> Not a fan, are they? And you might think, oh, but I know those people. We're friends. We're tight. I head out and down there all the time. We had lunch. They got me a sandwich. Mm. I did a stream for them. They're great. Until the laser lines up on your fucking forehead. Then what, Susie? <laughs> Hunt this fear. Bow! <laughs> Bullied. Yeah. They sent you a Christmas card. Was it laced with poisons and arsenic? <laughs> no modding allowed, folks. Don't do it. All right, look. Really? We can all just blame Titty Chunli. Yeah, that's what happened. That's the problem. It was it was that's it was it was Chunli Titty fault. One person couldn't keep it in. We know the deal. <sighs> God, but some of them are so good though. All right, Red Dead Redemption Cougar prevents John from building a house by Brother Fowler. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, is this like a is this like a, a cutscene that like is supposed to play to show a montage of time passing when you build a house? Is this like a like a, a... and it glitched out? Yeah, okay, and it glitched out because a hostile cougar was around. <laughs> kind of like in in GTA when the cutscene's happening, but yeah. then the fight starts. Classic Rockstar. That's great. You keep it going, though. <laughs> Why won't you help me? <laughs> well, let me have a Here it comes. <laughs> On the beat! I started laughing On the beat! Because the shot's too perfect. Oh. See what happens when you go in engine? That's why we get bull shots and FMVs, Reggie. Because when you trust your engine, this is what your engine does. It betrays you. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, okay. I'm safe. Ooh, ooh. Close call. So it's a whole long montage. I guess this is like a... Sig <laughs> this must be a significant gameplay part if it's taking so long to do show you this one scene. Unless it's a edited together various parts. Oh, my God. post-game campaign. Yeah, okay, alright. And now you're just pushing the fucking collision to its limits. How long did it take them to lure the cougar over and then trigger the cutscene, I wonder? Bye. I think. You know what, Russian player? You're probably a good functionality tester. I thought he hit his finger and... <laughs> but you can tell when the animation needs you to snap to the next place, so the location would make sense, you know? Ah, uh, that's great. Stress, though. Yep! <laughs> John, Jim, Sean, and good old Chilling Cougar. Around. Now I want the campfire scene uh, uh, um, um, from Blazing Saddles where everyone's eating beans and farting. And then a cougar just fucking runs through them. <laughs> In the Red Dead engine. Oh, that's great. All right. Here we go. What the finish line. if the English were phonetically consistent? by Aaron Allen. Consider the following sentence. Though I coughed roughly and hicca and hiccoughed throughout the lecture, I still thought I could plow through the rest of it. Um, hiccoughed isn't spelt that way. The same letter oh. combination, O-U-G-H, no. appears repeatedly throughout the sentence, but the sounds are different every time. Though I coughed roughly and hiccuped throughout the lecture, is that I still thought I could really? plow through the rest of it. This Maybe it's like British? Press X to doubt? British spelling? Because you know Americans just do whatever they want, right? Yeah, but we also throw use in neighbor. And color. Uh, hiccuped? The way you'd expect? P-P-E-D? Hiccoughed? Hiccough. Oh my god, you can spell hiccup with an O U G H. What? That's a crazy thing. Can you push the button and hear pronunciation? It's hiccup. Damn. 
The spelling with U-G-H is no longer in common use. Hiccup, C-U-P, is the preferred Canadian spelling for both the noun and the verb. Mm. Well, fuck the rest of the world. We're done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is what we would say if we were American. <laughs> This incredible inconsistency can make English really hard to master for non-native speakers. But what if English were phonetically consistent? Let's consider the letter A. The letter A can represent a number of different sounds. Even ignoring its combined sounds like AR or AW, you can get such diverse sounds as father, ape, and apple. Mm -hmm. Let's take the first of these, Arr, uh, as in father. Now, ah is not alone in having different options for how it can be pronounced. Let's consider the vowel e. Neglecting combination sounds like e, ER, we can still produce some strange different pronunciations such as rewrite, That's the point. elk, and one. Mm -hmm. Let's talk the first of these again. E, as in rewrite. Of course, this means that silent e's at the end of words will now also be vocalized. Moving on, let's consider the vowel I. Ignoring combination sounds like E, I, R, okay, or I, Okay, I think the experiment is to slowly make English phonetically consistent as the video goes on. Uh -huh. I'm making a guess that by the end, um, he's going to yeah. be pronouncing everything the way he, uh, uh, you would expect it to if you didn't This know. vowel can produce these sounds. Likey, igloo, and diviati. Again, talking the first of these, we'll pronounce the I as in likey. Let's now turn our attention to the vowel O. Without combination sounds, <laughs> we can style git a few options. Pony, on, on one. Let's select the first one of these, O as in pony. Have I no muddy these select sounds? That's we pretty fucking impressive. That would take a lot of practice. Viva wheel you can sound like a dice. That's really impressive that you could do that. Or put. Wily I wire a guy in, remind the licensier, the dice ice some what arbitrary, we wile select the first of these. Ooh, as I'm ruly. It's a very interesting exercise. It's a different language. I can't hear English word sound. I fight weary concise I'm the pronunciation of the wheels. Let's consider a passage from a shaki spirai and solilacuya. <laughs> Toby, or not Toby, that I stick with Dion. With your ties no blear, I'm the mind. To so fear the signs and arrows of Utrajios Fortuni. Or to taki arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing in thee. To die. To sleep no more, and by a sleep to sigh we end the here talky, and the thaws and natural shocks that flesh eyes yarto. Taisa consumashion devotely to be wished. To die, to sleep, to sleep, pure chancy to dream. Aye, there is the rube. For I in that sleep of death, what dreams, my comi, when we have a shuflid off this mortal coil, muscaivi us pausi. There is the respect that marks calamity of so long lifey. I can hear the linguists boning up in their chairs right now. Sorry. While the grammarians stay molding. Thank you for listening. If you enjoy this video, please even linguists are getting you. chubbed. <laughs> God, I'm friends with a couple of linguists. They love this shit. That's great. <laughs> they cannot get enough. Oh, like literally, just like what if language, and they're like, I know, right? <laughs> It's cute. It's cool. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. To, to make that progressively happen instead of just switching it on and off is a very difficult thing. Mm -hmm. That's very, very impressive. So uh, that's fun. Nicely done. Good job. All right. We did it. We Team. Did 
We Good job. 2023 behind now. We did. We slopped it all up. Some of it was rotten in the bit. <laughs> Some of it was a little bit stale. Team Reddit still won. Uh, Team Blue, you know, we started seeing what you threw in at the end there, and uh, you gave it your best. But really, was it your best? Eh, I don't know. Submissions will be open in the future as we begin a new list. But until then, uh, let's actually clear out the rest of our messages. But hey, yo, sick. I feel like we accomplished something today. Completion feels good. Feels good. Happy New Year, Game Hog 19. Thank you. Uh, Mike Hunt is for Timmy. Uh huh. Mr. Hunt, how do you do? Uh, yo, guy who footsies Daigo and Reginald. Hope y'all are having a good day. Slash Happy New Year. See, he tried to upset both of us the best way he knew how. Impressive, Snake. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Da, da, da. Zero Arturia. Hey, Willie and Reggie. Just wanted to say, hope you guys had a good holiday season. Thanks so much for the awesome memories in 2023. Looking forward to the new great moments in 24. Have a wonderful night and happy New Year's to the Versus crew. Happy New Year's and all the best to y'all. Iridium. Hope the New Year's is good to y'all. Same for you. Andrew of Bob. Clean plate. And Echo Drop. How you doing? Happy New Year. Oh, HNY. Okay. I thought I was like, I'm like, honey? Honey or horny? I'm like, is this... yeah, yeah, okay. Happy New Year. <laughs> True. I'm like, dang, I go drop, like, chill. Buy me dinner. First. Uh, right. Or second, I don't care. Let me hit that button. What's going on? What's going on? You can check us out on YouTube. The name of the channel is Wooly Versus. Newest releases. In case you missed it, you can check out. The new podcast announcement versus Wolves featuring Eye Patch Wolf. And channel link, I guess, is in the description. If you want to go check it out, go subscribe to that. It's going to be good stuff. Also, Castle Super Beast Clips leaks my uncle works at Nintendo versus your lives are now ruined. And Final Fantasy IX, the end game, was released yesterday. There should be another episode, uh, I believe, in 30 minutes, if everything's okay. I think everything's okay. Everything should be fine. Uh, in the meantime, boy, <laughs> let me cycle through to make sure I get to the right place here. I got a lot of plate spinning. Over on Wooly versus the algorithm, we've got... Uh, Ah, fuck yeah. We got a new clip. All right. I might drop this one tonight. Reggie gets asked on a date is out. Go check it out. If you haven't seen Reggie getting asked on a date in FF16, you need to go see that one. Crabtree did an amazing job. It's a fucking hilarious edit of a, of a, of a, of a classic Reggie moment um, that's fucking fantastic. But right away, I haven't watched it yet, but I see one coming up next, and it gets me very excited, and I might just... Uh, I might just click release on that shit. The name of the video is his name is Bobby Corwin. Bobby fucking Corwin! There you go. <laughs> 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 All right. So uh, I'm immediately hyped for whatever the fuck that's going to be. So yeah, give it a second. Let me, let me uh, have a meal. And then we're going to pop that up for you. Sweet. And then yeah. If you haven't, by all means, please check out the new podcast. It's called Versus Wolves. It's on uh, youtube.com slash at Versus Wolves podcast. There's going to be a link to it in the uh, the preview that's up on the Wooly Versus channel now. And uh, yeah, it's me and Ipatch Wolf. Every month we'll be back with some fun stuff. So go check that shit out. I think you will enjoy it. Sweet. All right. Um, Join sleepy. the book club. Kathy, it's the, the, the most, world's most powerful book club. Sleepy Kathy, hell yeah. Thank you, William Reggie, for being awesome. Thank you very much. Let's send this year off right. Oh, I get lucky. Getting wined. And dined. <clears throat> Unfortunately, there's no Fado music. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta hurry up. I got some hoes to meet. No, it's not true. I'm the hoe. 
I'm the whole. <laughs> I'm like, uh. I'm being waited upon. I'm like, you want me to play along somehow? Or what? You tell me where to go. You tell me where to go. I'll improvise. You you lead the way. I'll play along. That's fine. Let's just have this, this Jesus. toast. The fuck? To a great year. Indeed. And to an uh, even greater new one. Indeed. Absolutely. Sure thing, Susie. Your shirts, your merch is super cool. And uh, shout outs to Skeb on NYC as well. Right on. You can go get yourself a fucking sick ass Fear Hunter shirt available now. To you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all the good times. The laughs and the tears and the one guys. Cheers. More life, more life, more, more life. life. <laughs> mm. We will see you in the new year.